Science and Technology. We'll start our science section with physics. Matter. Anything that occupies a space and possesses weight is called matter. Matter or material substances consists of atoms and molecules. Atoms combine to form molecules of a substance. Matter can neither be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas, each of which can change into one of the others according to changes in temperature and pressure. There is also a fourth state of matter, the ionized state called plasma. Though this state is not common on the earth, the sun and the stars are in this state. Mass. The SI unit of mass is kilogram. It is a measure of inertia possessed by a piece of matter, that is, quantity of matter in a body. Mass is not the same as weight, which is a force with which the earth attracts a body. Mass remains constant while the weight varies from place to place and is zero at the center of the earth. Weight. Weight is a product of acceleration due to gravity and mass of the body. On the moon, a body will weigh much less than on earth because the moon's surface gravity is only one-sixth that of the earth. Density. Density is mass per unit volume of a substance and is expressed in the SI unit as kilogram per cubic meter. Density of water is 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. Densities are expressed as relative density, that is, density relative to water and sometimes called specific gravity. A ship floats on the surface of water because the weight of water displaced by the immersed portion of the ship is equal to its own weight. Ice floats on water because its weight is less than the weight of an equal volume of water. The lactometer used to test purity or density of milk is based on the principle that the greater the density of a liquid, the lesser will be the immersion of an object. Force, that which makes a body change its state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line, it causes objects to remain stationary, to continue moving steadily or to move faster. Centrifugal force. It is the force which appears to act on an object moving in a circular path. Centripetal force. It is the force acting on a body constrained to move in a curved path. It acts inwards on an object moving in circular path. Example, when a piece of a stone tied to a thread is whirled, you have to pull the thread inwards. This pull on the stone is called centripetal force and an equal and opposite force is exerted by the stone on the hand which is called centrifugal force. Application Curved rail tracks or curved roads are banked or raised on one side so that a fast-moving train or vehicle leans inwards, thus providing required centripetal force to enable it to move round the curve. A cyclist, while turning round a curved road, leans inwards so as to provide himself with the required centripetal force which enables him to take the turn. Friction Friction is a force that resists the movement of one surface over another. Friction is very necessary because without it, brakes would not work, belts would not drive the wheels of a machinery, etc. Friction of moving parts causes vestige of energy and in such cases, wheels, ball bearings and lubricants etc are used to reduce friction energy 
The capacity of doing work is called energy. It can exist in a number of forms, that is, mechanical, electrical, potential, chemical, kinetic, nuclear, etc. The energy possessed by a body owing to its position is called potential energy, that is, a wound up spring, a stretched rubber band, a bent bow, or a reservoir of water. The energy possessed by a body due to its motion is called kinetic energy. For example, a bullet shot from a gun or water flowing downstream. Energy is never lost or gained, but only changes from one form to another. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. This is known as law of conservation of energy. Surface tension. It is a force acting on surface of liquid in which there is a force of tension due to intermolecular forces acting on the surface of the liquid. This tension makes the area of the free surface as small as possible and makes the liquid surface behave like a piece of a stretched rubber. It is surface tension which causes water to climb up a narrow capillary into bracket phenomena of capillary action bracket over raindrops are spherical due to surface tension this phenomena is applicable to the capillary action of a blotting paper absorbing ink motion and work motion almost every event that takes place in the universe involves movement or motion of one kind or the other. <coughs> motion is a change of position of a body with respect to its surroundings. Speed. It is the rate of change of motion. Velocity. Commonly known as a speed, velocity is a rate of change of motion in a particular direction and expressed in meters per second. Acceleration is the rate of change in velocity of a moving body expressed in meters per second square. Negative acceleration is called retardation. Work. When a force creates motion in a body, it implies work has been done, that is, work is done by a moving force. It is equal to the product of the force and the distance it moves along its line of action. Power is the rate of doing work and Horsepower, HP, and watts are the units of power. Elasticity, a body that returns to its original shape and size on the removal of the deforming force, bracket, after having deformed with an elastic limit, bracket over, is called elastic. Contrary to the conception of elasticity in daily life, in physics, it stands for opposition to change. Hence, the more rigid a body, the more elastic it is said to be. That is why steel is more elastic than rubber. Heat. Heat is a form of energy which 1. Raises temperature of matter 2. Increases volume of matter and 3. Changes the state and physical properties of matter and brings about chemical change. Latent heat. The heat required to change the state of a substance from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas without change in temperature. Temperature, the degree of heat of a body or substance which can be measured by various scales like centigrade, Fahrenheit or rumor. R-E-A-U-M-U-R, rumor. Evaporation. Evaporation is a change of a state from liquid to vapor and thereby results in cooling. Rate of evaporation is affected by wind, heat and surface area. Example, when alcohol is applied on the forehead of a person having high temperature, the temperature reduces because alcohol, while evaporating, draws the heat out of the body. Transfer of heat. Conductivity. It is a property enjoyed by metals. It is a process of heat transfer 
without visible motion of the atoms or molecules from a region of higher temperature to that of lower temperature. It is a transmission of heat from molecule to molecule. Among metals, silver is the best conductor followed by copper. Why are metals good conductors? In metals, there are a large number of free electrons which transport major amount of heat and move from hotter part of the solid to the colder part transporting heat energy. Example, in winter, a steel chair appears colder than a wooden chair because steel, being a good conductor of heat, when touched, absorbs heat from the hand rapidly, giving the feeling of coldness. Metals are good conductors, while gas and air are poor conductors. Hence, first, two thin blankets are warmer as they enclose air in between. Two, a new quilt is warmer than an old one because it encloses more air. Three, Eskimos make double walled ice houses and the air in between two ice walls does not allow heat to pass. And number four, a thermos flask is made of double walled glass bottles. Radiation. Transmission of heat from one point to another without heating the medium, that is, transmission of heat by means of waves without the help of a medium. Polished surfaces are the best radiators of heat. Hence, first, the double walled glass bottles used in a thermos flask have a silver coating outside the inner wall and inside the outer wall. And second, white clothes are preferred in summer. On the other hand, radiation is greater from black surfaces which are very good absorbers of heat. Hence, it is warmer on a cloudy night because that heat radiated by earth is obstructed and sent back to the atmosphere. Convection. It transmits the heat of heated matter, that is, by actual motion of the heated particles of a liquid or gas. Hence, ventilators in a room are on the top portion of the walls because air, after being heated, rises upwards and passes through the ventilators and cold air enters the room through doors and windows which are at lower levels. Laws of Thermodynamics these laws show how heat energy can be passed from one body to another. Zeroth law, Z-E-R-O-T-H, Zeroth law. No heat will flow between two bodies that are of same temperature. In other words, a body's temperature does not depend on the material involved. First law, internal energy can be added to a body either by heating or doing work on it and conversely, if work is extracted from the body, its internal energy, bracket, and hence its temperature, bracket over, will fall unless an equivalent amount of heat is supplied from outside. Second law, heat will not pass spontaneously from a cold body to a hotter body. Third law, it is impossible to cool a body right down to absolute zero, that is, below minus 273.15 degree centigrade. Light, commas, light is an electromagnetic radiation that has a wavelength in about the range of 380 to 780 nanometers, and that may be perceived by the normal unaided human I. Commas closed. It is a form of energy which travels in straight lines and causes the sensation of vision. If we interpose a small obstacle between the object and our eyes, we are unable to see it. Formation of shadows is another proof of the fact that light travels in straight lines. Composition. 
In 1666, Isaac Newton passed a beam of light through a prism and found that it has seven colors: violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. The band of colors so formed is called a spectrum in which violet and red bands form the extremes. How do we see colors? Different objects have different colors. They absorb or reflect different parts of a spectrum. Thus, a blue object absorbs the red, yellow, and green parts of white light and reflects only the color blue. The color of an object depends upon the nature of light falling on it and also on the constituent color of the incident light reflected by it. If all the colors are absorbed, the object appears black. If all the color constituents of light are reflected, it appears white. Thus, we see objects because of the light they reflect. Most of the objects around us reflect only part of the light that is incident upon them, and it is the reflected part which gives the object its color. When a rose is viewed in white light, it appears red, and the leaves appear green, because the petals reflect the red part and the leaves green part. The remaining colors are absorbed. When the same rose is viewed in green light, the petals will appear black, and the leaves green. In blue or yellow light, both the petals and the leaves will appear black. A white paper appears white because it reflects all the colors of light, whereas a print on it appears black because it absorbs all the colors. In red light. Green grass will appear black because it absorbs all colors except green, and it would absorb the red rays of red rays of light falling on it. Phenomena of light: reflection. It is a bouncing back of light rays. The simple law of reflection is that the angle between the incoming ray and the perpendicular. To the surface is equal to the angle between the reflected ray and the same perpendicular. Refraction is a sudden change of direction of light when passing from one transparent substance into another. For example, a ray of light passing from air into water bends towards the perpendicular. Hence, one a stick. Immersed in water appears bent. Two, a pond looks shallower than it really is as the rays start from rarer to denser medium. The rays bend towards the normal. Three, a diamond sparkles because when light enters a piece of diamond and the cut of its faces, the light is totally refracted to various faces of the diamond as diamond has a high refractive index. And four, a person looks shorter when he is standing in water, and if we look at him from a side. And the last, a stone lying at the bottom of pond appears to be a to be at a higher point than it actually is. Diffraction, diffraction is the spreading out of waves of light as it passes through a narrow aperture because light. Is a wave of motion. Hence, light rays emerging from a cinema machine spread wide on the screen. Dispersion. When white light is passed through glass prism, it is split into the colors of the spectrum. This is because each color has its own wavelength, which determines the angle at which light is refracted. Red and yellow waves are the longest. And hence, are the least refracted. Blue and violet rays are shortest, and are the most refracted. The rainbow, the most spectacular illustration of dispersion, is a rainbow. When the sun shines after a shower, a rainbow is seen in the sky opposite the sun. 
The colors of the rainbow are due to the dispersion of sunlight by water droplets suspended in the air. Scattering. A rough surface scatters light because each part of the surface reflects the light at different angles which is known as scattering of light. Why is the sky blue? Violet and blue light have short wavelength and are scattered by the atmosphere ten times more than red light waves, while the red light with long wavelength goes almost straight through the atmospheres. Blue and violet are scattered by particles in the atmosphere. Thus, we see a blue sky. Absorption Some surfaces absorb more of the light falling on them than others. If light of all colors is absorbed, the eyes see black. A black surface absorbs more light than a white surface. Mirrors Plain mirror Mirrors work on the principle of reflection of light. When a man stands in front of the mirror, light from all parts of the body, bracket, light which is reflected from the body in the presence of a source of light, bracket over, is reflected from the mirror back to the eyes and a virtual image appears to be formed behind the mirror. Curved mirrors. There are two types of curved mirrors used for specific purposes, concave and convex. In concave mirrors, the light rays are reflected so as to converge to a point called the focus of a mirror. A concave mirror can therefore concentrate sun's radiation falling on it at one point. Hence, a concave mirror can be used as a burning glass and is used in solar cookers. The virtual images produced by convex mirror are erect and smaller than the object. The convex mirror is therefore used as a rear view mirror in vehicles as it has advantage of a wide field of view. Lenses Lenses are used in all optical instruments like microscopes, telescopes, cameras, projectors, etc. Lenses are of two types, convex or converging lens. If a parallel beam of light is incident on a convex lens, all rays after passing the lens converge on a point called the principal focus. Convex lens are used in magnifying glasses. Then concave or diverging lens. In case of a concave lens, the rays of light spread out after passing through the lens. Electricity. It is a form of energy which is made from the charges that make up the atom negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons. Electric current. It is the rate of flow of an electrical charge. It flows from positive to negative. Batteries supply direct current, DC, and the main supply alternating current, AC. The radio and TV require DC, and this is obtained from AC mains by means of a rectifier which converts AC into DC. Heating effect of electricity. When electricity is passed through thin metallic wires of high resistance, they become hot and glow. Metals like platinum or tungsten, T-U-N-G-S-T-E-N, -E offer resistance to the passage of electric current. They become white, hot and glow, and light is produced by electric current. The filament of electric bulbs and heater elements is made of such metals which have high resistance. Fuse wire. Fuse wire is made of material having low melting point. If it is inserted in an electric circuit, it will not allow excess electricity to flow through it. When current exceeds its limit, 
the fuse wire gets heated, melts and breaks the circuit. Magnetic effect of electricity. When electricity is passed through a coil of insulated copper wire, steel or iron placed in the coil becomes a magnet. This is due to the magnetic field produced by electricity. Types of electricity. Static current. Is the electricity produced by or rubbing between two dissimilar objects? Depending on the nature of the objects, one acquires a positive charge and the other negative charge because of transfer of electrons. For example, when a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth, some electrons from the rod are transferred to the silk cloth. Thus, by losing electrons, the glass rod becomes positively charged and by gaining the number of electrons, the silk acquires an equal negative charge. Similarly, by rubbing an ebonite comb on here, a magnetic property is produced which can attract small pieces of paper. Current electricity. It is electricity which brings light and power to our homes. It is of two types, alternating current, which regularly reverses its direction around the circuit. Direct current travels without reversing its direction. Sound. Source of sound is always the vibrations of an object. It is transmitted in the form of waves with alternating increase and decrease in pressure. Characteristics. 1. Pitch or frequency. 2. Loudness or or intensity and three quality on the basis of these characteristics sound can be recognized as we recognize a person from his voice pitch refers to the rate of vibration of sound and is measured in hertz h e r t z into bracket short h z bracket over loudness is measured in decibels D B, a unit based on the weakest sound that can be detected by human ear. Phenomena related to sound. Diffraction. Like light, sound waves are spread as they move past an obstacle or through a narrow aperture. If the aperture is small, the sound waves are spread out in all directions. Hence, sound can be heard round the corners of a corridor. Reflection. Deflection of sound waves into new directions by a surface is known as reflection of sound. Echo. Repetition of sound by reflection is known as echo. Oscillation. The term is used to describe anything that vibrates. Sound waves and music. Sound is generated by a vibrating system setting up waves in the surrounding air, musical sounds are produced by a vibration with a definite pitch, often produced by a vibrating string, e.g. sitar, or a vibrating column of air in a tube, e.g. shenai, which does not progress from one point to another but causes the spring or column of air to vibrate as a whole with its characteristic frequency. Ultrasonic and supersonic sounds. Sounds of frequency higher than 20,000 Hz are known as ultrasonic and are inaudible. The human ear is normally sensitive to sounds whose frequencies are between 16 Hz and 20,000 Hz. The speed greater than the speed of sound is known as supersonic. The sound waves of frequency lower than 16 hertz are called infrasonic. How do bats fly at night? Bats can fly in the dark because ultrasonic waves produced by them during flying are reflected back to them from the obstacles in their way and hence they can fly without difficulty. Speed of sound. The speed of sound depends upon the nature of the carrier media. In general, the speed of sound 
refers to the speed at which sound travels in air at sea level. In dry air at zero degrees centigrade, the speed of sound is about 331 meter per second or 750 miles per hour. The presence of water vapors in the air increases the speed of sound slightly. Speed of sound in different media. Ice cold water, 1,505 meter per second. Bricks, 3,542 meter per second. Wood, 3,847 meter per second. Glass, 5,000 to 6,000 meter per second. Steel, 5,000 meter per second. And last is a 331 meter per second. Magnetism, magnet. It is a substance which has the property of attracting pieces of iron, cobalt, and nickel. And when freely suspended, it points towards north and south. When a magnet is broken into pieces, each piece becomes an independent magnet. Two poles of magnet have equal strength. Like poles repel. and unlike poles attract each other natural magnet iron ore into bracket minor bracket over which we know as magnetite that is iron oxide has magnetic properties of attracting iron cobalt and nickel these are called lodestones l o d e s t o n e s lodestones magnetic induction when a piece of soft iron or steel is brought close to a strong bar magnet it is magnetized when an electric current is passed through an insulated copper wire coil the steel or soft iron placed in the coil becomes a magnet this is due to the magnetic field which is produced in the coil the electric bell works on the above mentioned principle important laws of physics archimedes principle this states that when a body is partially or totally immersed in a fluid it experiences an upward thrust equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it that is its apparent loss of weight is equal to the weight of liquid displaced The principle was discovered in third century BC by the Greek mathematician Archimedes. Avogadro's law: equal volumes of all gases under the same conditions of temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules. This was an inspired guess made in 1811 by the Italian scientist Amedeo Avogadro that turned out to be correct. Newton's law 1642 to 1727 law of gravitation objects attract each other with a force directly proportional to the product of the masses of the objects and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them hence for objects on or near the earth the mass of earth is very much greater than the object and so the gravitational force between them makes objects fall towards the earth that is why lead and feather fall at the same rate in a vacuum newton's first law of motion a body continues in its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line except in so far as it be compelled by external impressed forces to change that state it is called law of inertia newton's second law of motion the rate of change of momentum is proportional to the impressed force and takes place in the direction of the straight line in which the force acts in other words into commas force is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration comes over newton's third law of motion to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction this is the principle behind the recoil felt on pulling the trigger of a gun newton's law of cooling 
the rate at which a body cools or loses its heat to its surroundings is proportional to the excess of mean temperature of the body over that of the surroundings provided this temperature excess is not too large coulomb's law c o u l o m b coulomb's law 1738 to 1806 the force between two electric charges reduces to a quarter of its former value when the distance between them is doubled the si unit of electrical charge the coulomb is named after charles augustin d coulomb who established the law stephen's law 1835 to 83 the total energy radiated from a black body is equal to the fourth power of its absolute temperature pascal's law 1623 to 1662 first when pressure is applied to a fluid the pressure change is transmitted to every part of the fluid without loss hydraulic machines like the hydraulic press work on this principle and second atmospheric pressure decreases with increase in height the si unit of pressure pascal is named after pascal who established this law hooke's law h double o k e hooke's law 1635 to 1703 it states that the extension of a spring is proportional to the tension stretching it doubling of the tension results in the doubling of the amount of a stretch lenz's law 1804 to 1865 it states that when an electric current is induced by a change in magnetic field the induced current is always in such a direction that its magnetic field opposes the change of field which causes the induction dalton's law 1766 to 1844 dalton's law states that the total pressure of a mixture of gases or vapors is equal to the sum of partial pressures of its components that is the sum of the pressures that each component would exert if it were present alone and occupied the same volume as a mixture second in 1803 dalton formulated his atomic theory stating that matter is made of particles or atoms which are not subdivided during chemical change it said that atoms of the same chemical element are similar and equal in weight that atoms of different elements have different properties and different weights and that chemical compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in simple proportions faraday's laws 1791 to 1867 law of electrolysis a the amount of chemical change during electrolysis is proportional to the charge passed b the masses of substances liberated or deposited by the same quantity of electric charge are proportional to their chemical equivalence second is law of electromagnetic induction states that a an electromagnetic flux is induced in a conductor when the magnetic field surrounding it changes b the magnitude of electromagnetic flux is proportional to the rate of change of the field and c the direction of the induced electromagnetic flux depends on the orientation of the field then ohm's law o h m 1787 to 1854 this states that the amount of current which flows in an electric circuit is governed by the voltage of the battery or dynamo which powers it in other words the current through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor and inversely proportional to its resistance the si unit of electrical resistance the ohm is named after george simon ohm who established this law phenomena and terms of physics absolute temperature and absolute zero a temperature scale based on charles law of expansion of gases it measures temperature from absolute zero 
bracket that is minus 273.15 degrees centigrade below which matter cannot be cooled bracket over in Kelvin bracket and Kelvin degrees being of the same magnitude as a degree centigrade bracket over to convert an absolute temperature to centigrade simply add 273.15 armature the coils of an electric motor or dynamo calorie it is the unit of heat which is equal to the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree centigrade curie point c u r i e temperature above which a strongly magnetizable or ferromagnetic material loses its magnetic properties and acquires paramagnetic properties the curie point of iron is 870 degree centigrade depression and freezing point the lowering of the temperature at which a liquid freezes as is done by adding common salt and saltpeter to ice to make ice cream electrode the name given to the part by means of which electricity is laid into or away from a gas or liquid the negative electrode is cathode c a t h o d e and the positive electrode is known as anode a n o d e electromagnetic waves waves that consist of varying electrical and magnetic quantities traveling along at the speed of light light radio waves x rays gamma rays etc are covered under this category electromotive force the electrical pressure developed by a cell battery or generator which enables it to produce an electric current in a circuit it is measured in volts fluorescence the property of some substances to absorb light of one wavelength and emit light of a longer wavelength insulator materials such as glass rubber porcelain plastics etc which have no free electrons and therefore will not allow electric current to pass through even when an electric motive force e m f is applied mole the amount of a substance that contains as many particles as there are atoms in 12 grams of the isotope carbon 12 pressure the force or weight per unit of area acting upon a surface it is measured in newtons per meter square or kilogram per meter square superconductivity a property of some metals and alloys to lose electrical resistance below a certain temperature bracket usually within 20 degrees of absolute temperature bracket over this means that an electrical current can flow in a loop of the metal indefinitely without generating heat or decreasing in strength thermocouple a kind of thermometer made by joining a wire from both ends to another wire of a different material if one junction is kept cool and the other heated an electric current flows and can be used as a measure of the temperature of the hot junction flux amount of a magnetic or electrical field or radiation passing through a given area heat capacity heat energy as joules required to raise the temperature of a material by 1 kelvin induction temporary magnetization or electrification of material that is placed in a strong magnetic or electrical field inertia a body's resistance to motion if it is at rest or to a change in its motion if it is moving insulation material that will not convey electrical current or a flow of heat such as glass rubber porcelain plastics etc momentum the quantity of motion of a moving body a measure of the time it would take that body to stop when force is applied to it polarization separation of positive and negative charges to different regions of a molecule thus causing it to be an electrical dipole raman effect 
the change in wavelength that occurs when light is scattered in a transparent medium. Resistance, property of an electric circuit or its part that impedes the flow of current. Rheostat, R H E O S T A T, resistor whose resistance can be varied. Spectrum, the band of colors produced when light is passed through a prism and is split up into its component wavelengths. Supersonic, description of motion through air or some other medium at a speed greater than the speed of sound through that medium. Thermal, connected with or produced by heat or temperature. Thermal radiation, emission of electromagnetic radiation by a body due to the thermal agitation of atoms and electrons in the body. Thermionic effect. Emission of electrons from a hot body. Torque, T O R Q U E, the turning effect of a force on a body that can rotate freely. Vacuum, space in which there is no matter. Viscosity, friction or drag within a liquid. V I S C O S I T Y, viscosity. Then, physics, questions and explanations. Question. A man with a load on his head jumps from a high building. What will be the load experienced by him? Scientific explanation is zero because the acceleration of his fall is equal to the acceleration due to gravity of the earth. Question. Why is spring made of steel and not copper? Explanation. The elasticity of steel is greater than that of copper. Question: Which is more elastic, rubber or steel? Scientific explanation is: Steel is more elastic for the same stress produced in rubber is more than that in steel. Question: Why is it easier to spray water to which soap is added? Answer: Addition of soap decreases the surface extension of water. The energy for spray is directly proportional to surface tension. Question: A piece of chalk, when immersed in water, emits bubbles. Why? Answer: Chalk consists of pores forming capillaries. When it is immersed in water, the water begins to rise in the capillaries, and air present there is expelled in the form of bubbles. Question. Why does a liquid remain hot or cold for a long time inside a thermo flask? Answer: Because of the presence of air, which is poor conductor of heat, in between the double glass walls of a thermo flask. Question: Why does a ball bounce up on falling? Answer: When a ball falls, it is temporarily deformed due to elasticity. The ball. Tends to regain its original shape, for which it presses the ground and bounces up. Bracket Newton's third law of motion. Bracket over. Question: Why is standing in boats or double-decker buses not allowed, particularly in the upper floor of buses? Answer: On tilting, the center of gravity of the boat or bus is lowered, and it is likely. To overturn. Question: Why is the boiling point of sea water more than that of pure water? Answer: Sea water contains salts and other impurities with different boiling point, which jointly raise its boiling point. Question: Why is it recommended to add salt in water while boiling grams? Answer: By addition of salts. The boiling point of water gets raised, which helps 
in cooking question why is soft iron used as an electromagnet answer because it remains magnetic only till the current passes through the coil and loses its magnetism when the current is switched off bracket principle of electric bells bracket over question why is the sky blue answer boiling and blue light have short waves and are scattered more than red light waves while red light goes almost straight through the atmosphere blue and violet are scattered by particles in the atmosphere thus we see a blue sky question why does ink leak out of a partially filled pen when taken to a higher altitude answer as we go up the pressure and the density of air go on decreasing a partially filled pen leaks when taken to a higher altitude because the pressure of air acting on the ink inside the tube of the pen is greater than the pressure of air outside question on the moon will the weight of a man be less or more than his weight on the earth answer the gravity of the moon is 1/6 that of the earth hence the weight of a person on the surface on the moon will be 1/6 of his actual weight on the earth question why do some liquids burn while others do not answer a liquid burns if its molecules can combine with oxygen of the air with the production of heat hence oil burns but water does not question oil and water do not mix why first molecules of oil are bigger than that of water and therefore do not mix easily and the second answer molecules of water are polar that is they have opposite charges at two ends whereas oil molecules do not as a consequence they tend to stay away from water molecules question Why can we see ourselves in a mirror? Answer: We see objects when light rays from them enter our eyes. As mirrors have a shiny surface, the light rays are reflected and come back to us and enter our eyes. Question: Why does a solid chunk of iron sink in water but float in mercury? Answer: because the density of iron is more than that of water but less than that of mercury question why do stars twinkle answer the light from a star reaches us after refraction as it passes through various layers of air when the light passes through the earth's atmosphere it is made to flicker by the hot and cold ripples of air and it appears as if the stars are twinkling question why is cooking quicker in a pressure cooker answer as a pressure inside the cooker increases the boiling point of water is raised hence the cooking process is quick question when wood burns it crackles why answer wood contains a complex mixture of gases and tar forming vapors trapped near the surface these gases and tar vapors escape making a crackling sound question if a feather a wooden ball and a steel ball fall simultaneously in a vacuum which one of these would fall faster answer all will fall at the same speed in a vacuum because there will be no air resistance and the earth's gravity will exert a similar gravitational pull on all question when a man fires a gun he is pushed back slightly why answer as a bullet leaves the nozzle of the gun's barrel with momentum in a forward direction as per newton's third law of motion the ejection of the bullet imparts to the gun an equal momentum in a backward direction question 
why does a body weigh slightly more at the poles than at the equator? Answer, the gravitational pull of the earth is more at the poles because the poles being nearer to the center, the weight of a body is greater at this point. Question, why is it easier to roll a barrel than to pull it? Answer, because the rolling force of friction is less than the dynamic force of sliding friction. Question, ice wrapped in a blanket or sawdust does not melt quickly. Why? Answer, both wool and wood are bad conductors of heat. They do not permit heat rays to react with ice easily. Question, why do we perspire on a hot day? Answer, when the body temperature rises, the sweat glands of the body are stimulated to secrete perspiration. It is nature's phenomena to keep the body cool. During the process of evaporation of sweat, some body heat is taken away, thus giving a sense of coolness. Question. Why do we perspire before rains? Answer. Before the rain falls, the atmosphere gets saturated with water vapors. As a result, the process of evaporation of sweat is delayed. Question. Why does ice float on water but sink in alcohol? Answer. Because ice is lighter than water, it floats on it. However, ice is heavier than alcohol and therefore it sinks in alcohol. Question. Why does a the thermometer kept in boiling water show no change in reading? Answer. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees centigrade. Once water starts boiling at this temperature, thermometer records no change in temperature. The quantity of heat supplied is being utilized as latent heat of evaporation to convert the water at boiling point into vapor. Question. Why do we bring our hands close to the mouth while shouting across to someone far away? Answer. By keeping hands close to mouth, the sound is not allowed to spread, bracket, phenomena of diffraction of sound, bracket over, in all directions, but is directed to a particular direction and becomes louder. Question. Why does a corked bottle filled with water burst if left out on a frosty night? Answer. Due to low temperature, the water inside the bottle freezes. On freezing, it expands. Thereby, its volume increases and pressure is exerted on the walls. Question. Why is a small gap left at the joint between two rails? Answer. To permit expansion of rails due to the heat generated by friction of the moving train. Question. A cyclist has to use more force at the start than when the cycle is in motion. Explain. Answer. Momentum has to be produced to set a cycle in motion requiring more force is required to maintain it. Question. Why cannot a copper wire be used to make elements in electric heaters? Answer. Copper melts at 1083 degrees centigrade and forms a black powder on reacting with atmospheric oxygen. For heater element, a metal should have more resistance to produce heat. Question. Why is water or mercury always round when dropped on a clean glass? Answer. The surface of a liquid is a seat of a special force as a result of which molecules on the surface are bound together to form something like a stretched membrane. They tend to compress the molecules below the smallest possible volume, which causes the drop to take a round shape as for a given mass the sphere has minimum volume. Question. Why does a balloon filled with hydrogen rise in the air? 
answer, its weight is less than the weight of air displaced by it. In balloons, normally hydrogen is filled, which is lighter than air. Question. Why does smoke curl up in the air? Answer. Smoke contains hot gases, which being lighter in weight, follow a curved path because of the eddy currents that are set up in the air. Question. Why do we lean forward while climbing a hill? Answer. In order to keep the vertical line passing through our center of gravity always between our feet to attain balance or stability. Question. Why does an electric bulb explode when it is broken? Answer. The bulb is a partial vacuum and as it breaks, air rushes in causing a small explosion. Question. Why does a man fall forward when he jumps out of a running train? Answer. He is in motion while in the train. When he jumps out, his feet come to rest while touching the ground, but his upper portion, which is still in motion, takes him forward. Question. Why does an ordinary glass tumbler crack when very hot tea is poured in it? Answer. When the inner layer of the tumbler gets heated, it expands before the outer layer and an unequal or mild expansion of both layers causes the tumbler to crack. Question. Why is a compass used as an indicator of direction? Answer. The magnetic needles of a compass under the influence of the Earth's magnetic field lie in a nearly north-south direction. Hence, we can identify direction. Question. Why is water from a hand pump warm in winter and cold in summer? Answer. In winter, the outside temperature is lower than that of water flowing out of the pump and therefore it feels warm. Whereas in summer, the outside temperature is higher than the water of the pump and therefore it feels cold. Question. Why is the rainbow seen after a shower? Answer. After a shower, the clouds containing water droplets act like a prism through which the white light is dispersed and produces a spectrum. Question. Why does a swimming pool appear less deep than it actually is? Answer. The rays of light coming from the bottom of the pool pass from a denser medium, that is water, to a rarer medium, that is air, and are refracted, that is bend away from the normal. When the rays return to the surface, they form an image of the bottom of the pool at a point which is little above the real position. Question. Why does kerosene oil float on water? Answer. Because the density of kerosene oil is less than that of water. For the same reason, cream rises in milk and floats on the top. Question. Why is one's breath visible in winter but not in summer? Answer. In winter, water vapor contained in the breath condenses into small droplets which become visible. But in summer, they are quickly evaporated and thus not to be seen. Question. Why doesn't the electric filament in an electric bulb burn up? Answer. Firstly, because it is made of tungsten, which has a very high melting point, that is 3410 degrees, whereas the temperature of the filament required to glow is only 2000 700 degrees C. Secondly, oxygen is absent since the bulb is filled with an inert gas which does not help in burning. Question. Why does blotting paper absorb ink? Answer. Blotting paper has fine pores which act like capillaries. When a portion of blotting paper is brought in contact with ink, 
due to surface tension bracket capillary action of liquids bracket over ink enters the pores and is absorbed question why does a small ball of iron sink in water but a ship float answer the weight of water displaced by an iron ball is less than its own weight whereas water displaced by the immersed portion of a ship is equal to its weight bracket archimedes principle a r c h i m e d e s archimedes question why does ice float on water answer the weight of the ice block is equal to the weight of liquid displaced by the immersed portion of the ice question a tumbler is filled to the brim and a piece of ice is placed in it when the ice melts will the tumbler overflow answer level of water remains unchanged because the volume of water produced by the melting ice is exactly the same as that of the piece of ice upon melting the water will volume of water displaced by it question why does a moisture gather outside a tumbler containing cold water answer the water vapor of the air condenses on cooling and appears as droplets of water question why is the water in an open pond cool even on a hot summer day answer as the water evaporates from the open surface of a pond heat is taken away in the process leaving the surface cool question why is it difficult to cook rice or potatoes at higher altitudes answer atmospheric pressure at higher altitudes is low and boils water below 100 degrees centigrade because the boiling point of water is directly proportional to the pressure on its surface question why is it difficult to breathe at higher altitudes answer due to lower air pressure at higher altitudes the quantity of air is less and so also that of oxygen question why are winter nights warmer on a cloudy weather and summer nights hotter in a cloudy weather than when the sky is clear answer clouds being bad conductors of heat do not permit radiation of heat from land to escape into sky as this heat remains in the atmosphere the cloudy nights are warmer question why are cloudy days cooler answer clouds do not permit the radiation of the sun to reach the earth come question why is a metal tire heated before it is fixed on wooden wheels answer on heating the metal tire expands by which its circumference also increases this makes fixing the wheel easier and thereafter cooling down shrinks it thus securing it tightly question why is it easier to swim in the sea than in a river answer the density of sea water is higher hence the up thrust is more than that of river water question who will possibly learn swimming faster a fat person or a thin person answer the fat person displaces more water which will help him float more freely compared to a thin person question why is a flash of lightning seen before thunder answer because light travels faster than sound it reaches the earth before the sound of thunder question why cannot petrol fire be extinguished with water answer water which is heavier than petrol slips down permitting the petrol to rise to the surface and continue to burn besides the existing temperature is so high that the water poured on the fire evaporates even before 
it can extinguish the fire. The latter is true if a small quantity of water is poured. Question. Why does water remain cold in an earthen pot? Answer. There are pores in the earthen pot which allow water to percolate to the outer surface. Here, evaporation of water takes place, thereby producing a cooling effect. Question. Why does an ordinary pendulum clock lose time in summer? Answer. In summer, due to heat, the length of the pendulum increases. Thus, this in turn results in the increase of duration of each oscillation of the pendulum. Therefore, the clock loses time in summer. Question. Why are mercury thermometers not used to measure very low temperatures? Answer. The freezing point of mercury is only minus 39 degrees C and it also has non-uniform expansion at low temperatures. Question. Why do we place a wet cloth on the forehead of a patient suffering from high temperature? Answer. Due to body's temperature, water evaporating from the wet cloth produces cooling and brings the temperature down. Question. Why do we apply eudicolone to a person having high temperature? Answer. Eudicolone contains alcohol, which is quickly evaporated and takes away much of the local heat from the body of the person. Question. When a needle is placed on a small piece of blotting paper, which is placed on the surface of clean water, the blotting paper sink after a few minutes, but the needle floats. However, in a soap solution, the needle sinks. Why? Answer. The surface tension of clean water being higher than that of soap solution, it can support the weight of needle due to its surface tension. By addition of soap, the surface tension of water reduces, thereby sinking the needle. Question. To prevent growth of mosquitoes, it is recommended to sprinkle oil on the pond with the stagnant water. Why? Answer. Mosquitoes breed in stagnant water. The larvae of mosquitoes keep floating on the surface of water due to surface tension. However, when oil is sprinkled, the surface tension is lowered, resulting in drowning and death of the larvae. L-A-R-V-A-E Question. Why does oil rise on a cloth tip of an oil lamp? Answer. The pores in the cloth tip suck oil due to the capillary action of the oil. Question. Why are ventilators in a room always made near the roof? The scientific explanation is the hot air being lighter in weight tends to rise above and escape from the ventilators on the top. Question. Why are chimneys of factories using boilers high? Scientific explanation is the gases produced in boilers are hot and being lighter in weight tend to go up. The chimneys exhaust these gases above in the atmosphere without polluting the lower layer of the atmosphere. Question. How does ink gate filled in a fountain pane? Scientific explanation is when the rubber tube of a fountain pane immersed in ink is pressed, the air inside the tube comes out and when the pressure is released, the ink rushes in to fill the air space in the tube. Question. Why are air coolers less effective during the rainy season? Scientific explanation is, during the rainy season, the atmospheric air is saturated with humidity. Therefore, the process of evaporation of water from the moist pads of the cooler slows down, thereby not cooling the air blown out from the cooler. 
लास्ट क्वेश्चन वाई डज ग्रास गैदर मोर ड्यू इन नाइट देन मेटलिक ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक स्टोन एंड द साइंटिफिक एक्सप्लेनेशन से ग्रास बींग अ गुड रेडिएटर enables water vapor in the air to condense on it moreover grass gives out water constantly bracket transpiration bracket over which appears in the form of dew because the air near grass is saturated with water vapor and slows evaporation dew is formed on objects which are good radiators and bad conductors chemistry now first elements everything in the universe living or non living is made of a combination of a few basic substances called elements an element is a simplest form of matter composed of atoms having identical number of protons in each nucleus an atom is the smallest fragment of an element that can take part in a chemical action the theory that all matter is made up of small particles that is atoms was put forward by john dalton he defined the atom as a smallest neutral particle of matter which may have independent existence it consists of a central nucleus made up of protons which are positively charged and neutrons which are neutral particles surrounded by orbiting electrons atoms of different elements differ from one another in the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus and the number of electrons surrounding the nucleus the number of electrons is however always equal to the number of protons which is known as a elements atomic number there are around 107 known elements out of which 92 are naturally occurring and 15 are man made elements created by nuclear bombardment the man made elements are known as transuranics t r a n s u r a n i c s transuranics neptunium element 93 was the first such element discovered in 1940 lightest bracket simplest element bracket naturally occurring hydrogen bracket element 1 then most complex element bracket naturally occurring uranium bracket element number 92 hydrogen has atomic number 1 with one proton and one electron uranium the heaviest naturally occurring element has atomic number 92 having 92 protons 92 electrons and 146 neutrons all elements heavier than uranium are man made and are produced in nuclear reactors or accelerators or isolated from debris of atomic explosions into bracket transuranics the chemical elements can be arranged in order of increasing atomic number in such a way that elements with similar properties appear together such an arrangement is called a periodic table the russian scientist dmitry mendeleev devised the periodic table in 1869 d i m i t r i dmitry M E N D E L L E V Mendeleev Types of elements Elements are classified in two main classes First metals like lead gold mercury etc and two non metals like chlorine bromine carbon etc Elements behave chemically both as metals and non metals and are called metalloids e.g. boron silicon germanium and antimony there are also some elements which are neither metals nor non metals these elements are called noble gases and are present 
in the atmosphere as helium, argon, neon, krypton, radon, and xenon. X e n o n xenon. New elements. There are four transuranic elements which are discovered in the 70s. Name of the element: unliquidium. U double n l i q u a d i u m. Atomic number 104. Symbol: U n q. Year: 1969. Country: Former USSR. The name of the element element unipetium. U double n i p e t i u m. Atomic number. Hundred and five, symbol U N P, year nineteen seven zero, country Germany. The name of the element is unihexium, U double N I L H E X I U M. Atomic number is hundred and six, symbol is U N H, year. 1974 country usa and the fourth is unil septium u double n i l s e p t i u m its atomic number is 107 its symbol will be u n s it was in the year 1976 and country former u s s r Element hundred and four. In nineteen sixty nine, the Russians at Dubna, D U B N A, synthesized element one zero four and named it Kurchetovium, after the physicist I V Kurchetov. Simultaneously, the Americans at Berkeley synthesized similar elements by a different process and challenged the Russian findings. They named this element Rutherfordium in honor of Lord Rutherford. However, it has now been named Unilquidium. Element hundred and seven, Unil Septium, that is U N S, was discovered in nineteen seventy six by the Russians. This is regarded as the newest and the heaviest element with the highest atomic number hundred and seven. Commonest element, bracket lithosphere, oxygen. Commonest element, bracket atmosphere, nitrogen. Commonest element, bracket universe, hydrogen. Rarest element, astatine. Lightest element, bracket metal, lithium. Heaviest element, bracket gas. Radon, lightest element bracket gas is hydrogen. A list of common elements, their chemical symbol, atomic number, and relative weight is given below. Then we have got a box list of elements. On the left, first branch tells us about elements and symbol. Elements and symbols. First is actinium, A C. Atomic number eighty-nine. Atomic weight two hundred and twenty-seven. Discoverer A. Debiem. Year eighteen ninety-nine. Then aluminium A. L. Atomic number thirteen. Atomic weight twenty-seven. Discoverer F. Holler. Eighteen twenty-seven. Americium, A M, atomic number ninety-five, atomic weight two forty-three, discoverer G, C Borg and others in nineteen forty-four. Antimony, S B, atomic number fifty-one, atomic weight hundred and twenty-one point eight, discoverer. B Valentine in sixteen zero four. Argon, 
A. Atomic number 18. Atomic weight 39.9. Discoverer W. Ramsey and J. Raylight in 1894. Then arsenic A. S. Atomic number 33. Atomic weight 74.9. Discoverer A. Magnus in 1250. Astatine, A.T. Atomic number 85. Atomic weight into bracket 210. Discoverer E. Segre and others in 1940. Then barium B.A. Atomic number 56. Atomic weight 137.3. Discover H. Davy in 1808. Berkelium, BK, atomic number 97, atomic weight 249, discoverer S. Thompson in 1949. Beryllium, BE, atomic number 4, atomic weight 9, discoverer N. Voculin. In 1798. Bismuth, BI, atomic number 83, atomic weight 209.0. Discoverer, C. Geoffrey the Younger, year 1953. Boron, B, atomic number 5, atomic weight 10.8. Discoverer, Davy. Year 1808. Bromine, that is BR, atomic number 35, atomic weight 79.9, discoverer A. Ballard in 1826. Then cadmium CD, number 48, weight 112.4, discoverer F. Strawmeyer in 1817. Then calcium, CA, atomic number 20, atomic weight 40.1, discoverer H. Devi in 1808. Then californium, CF, atomic number 98, atomic weight into bracket 251, discoverer is Thompson in 1950. Carbon, that is C. Atomic number 6, atomic weight 12.0, discoverer S. Thompson. Then, cerium, C.E., atomic number 58, atomic weight 140.1, discoverer J. Berzelius and W. Hislinger in 1803. Then we come to Elements and symbols. Cesium. CS. Atomic number 55. Atomic weight 132.9. Discoverer R. Bunzen and G. Krishoff in 1860. Chlorine. CI. Atomic number 17. Atomic weight 35.5. Discoverer K. Skeel. 1774. Then chromium, CR, atomic number 24, atomic weight 52.0, discoverer N. Voculin in 1797. Cobalt, CO, atomic number 27, weight 58.9, discoverer G. Brandt in C. 1735. Then copper, CU, number 29, weight 63.5, discoverer G. Brandon, then curium, CM, atomic number 96, weight into bracket 248, discoverer G. Seaborg in 1944, then diasprosium, DY, atomic number 66, Weight 162.5, discoverer L.D. Boyce 
Baudrillard in 1886. Elements and symbols, under that we have got enstenium, that is E, atomic number 99, atomic weight into bracket 254, discoverer A. Gioroso in 1953, erbium E. R, atomic number 68, atomic weight 167.3 discoverer C. Mosander in 1839 then europium EU atomic number 63 atomic weight 152.0 discoverer E. DeMarque in 1896 fermium FM atomic number 100 atomic weight into bracket 253 discoverer A. Giorso in 1952 then fluorine F atomic number 9 atomic weight 19.0 discoverer H. Moisen in 1886 francium F. R. atomic number 87 weight into bracket 223 Discoverer M. Perry in 1939. Then gadolinium G. D. Atomic number 64. Weight 157.3. Discoverer J. C. D. Marinac in 1880. Gallium G. A. Atomic number 31. Weight 69.7. Discoverer L. D. Boyce Borderen in 1875. Germanium G. E. Number 32. Weight 72.6. Discoverer C. Rinkler 1886. Then gold A. U. Number 79. Weight 197.0. Then hafenium, HF, number 72, weight 178.5, discoverers are D. Coaster and G. D. Havesi in 1023. Helium, HE, number 2, weight 4.0, discoverers are J. C. P. Janzen and N. Lockyer in 1868. Holmium, H O, number 67, weight 164.9. Discoverers J. Sorate and M. De La Fontaine in 1878. Hydrogen, H, number 1, weight 1.0. Discoverer H. Cavendish in 1766. Indium, I-N, atom, atomic number 49, atomic weight is 114.8, discoverers are F. Rich and T. Richter, 1863. Iodine, I, atomic number 53, atomic weight 126.9, Discoverer B. Cortois in 1811. Then Iridium I. R. Atomic number 77. Atomic weight is 192.2 and the discoverer is S. Tennant 1803. Then Iron F. E. 
atomic number is 26 and the weight is 55.9. Krypton, K-R, atomic number 36, atomic weight 83.8, discoverers R. W. Ramsey and M. Travers in 1898. Lanthanum, L.A., atomic number 57, atomic weight 138.9, discoverer C. Mozanter in 1839. Then Lorenzium, L.R., atomic number 103, atomic weight 257.0, and discoverer a Giorso in 1961. Lead P B number 82 weight 207.2. Then lithium L I atomic number 3 atomic weight 6.9. Discoverer A Arf Wedson in 1817. Lutetium LU, atomic number 71, atomic weight 175.0, discoverer G. Urban in 1907. Magnesium, MG, atomic number 12, atomic weight 24.3, and discoverer recognized by J. Block 1755. Manganese, M N atomic number is twenty five, weight fifty four point nine, and recognized by K Skeel. Mandelavium M V atomic number one zero one, weight into bracket two fifty six, discoverers A Giorzo and others nineteen fifty five, Mercury H G. Atomic number 80, weight 200.6. Molybdenum, MO, number 42, weight 95.9. Discoverer, K. Skeel, 1778. Neodymium, ND, atomic number 60, atomic weight 144.2. Discoverer, C. Von Welsh Bosch, 1885. Neon, N.E., atomic number 10, weight 20.2, discoverers W. Ramsey and M. Travers, 1898. Then Neptunium, N.P., atomic number 93, weight into bracket 237, discoverers E. Macmillan and P. Abelson, 1940. Nickel, N.I., number 28, weight 58.7, discoverer A. Kronstadt in 1751. Neobium, bracket, columbium, that is N.B., atomic number 41, weight 92.9, discoverer C. Hatchet in 1801. The nitrogen, N, atomic number 7, weight 14.0, discoverer D. Rutherford in 1772. The nobelium, N, O, atomic number 102, weight into bracket 254, discoverers, Fields and others in 19. 51. Then oxygen. Sorry. Osmium. OS. 76 is the atomic number. Atomic weight is 190.2. And discovered by A. Stenant in 1803. Oxygen. O. Atomic number 8. Atomic weight 16.0. Discoverer J. Priestley in 1774. Palladium, P.D., atomic number 46, 
atomic weight is 106.4, discoverer is W. Wollestein, 1803. Phosphorus, P, atomic number 15, weight 31.0, discoverer H. Bran in 1669. Platinum is Pt, 78 is the atomic number, weight is 195.1, and the discoverer is D. De Ulovo in 1735. Plutonium, Pu, atomic number 94, weight into bracket 242, discoverer G. Seaborg, 1940. Polonium is Po, atomic number 84, weight 210.0, discoverer P. and Madame Curie, 1898. Potassium, K. Atomic number 19. Weight is 39.1. Discoverer H. Devi in 1807. Preziodimium. PR. Number 59. Weight is 140.9. Discoverer C. von Welsbach in 1885. Promethium. PM. Number 61, weight into bracket is 147, discoverer J. Mansky in 1947. Protactinium, P.A., atomic number 91, weight is 231.0, discoverer is F. Soddy in 1917. Then radium, R.A., Atomic number 88. Atomic weight 226.1. Discoverers P and Madame Curie 1898. Radon RN. Atomic number 86. Weight 222.0. Discoverer Rutherford into bracket Thoron Isotope 1899 and E. Dawn, into bracket, Radon Isotope, 1900. Then Rhenium, R. E., atomic number 75, weight 186.2, discoverers E. Nodak and others in 1925. Rhodium, R. H., atomic number 45, weight 102.9, discoverers W. Wollaston, 1803. Rubidium, R.B., atomic number 37, weight 85.5. Discoverers are R. Bunzen and G. Krishoff, 1861. Rudanium, R.U., number 44, weight 101.1. Discoverers K. Claus or Clause C L A U S or K L A U S in 1844. Samadium S M number 62, weight 150.4, discoverer L D Boys Bordran, 1879. Then Scandium S C number 24, weight 45.0, discoverer L. Nilzon in 1879. Selenium, S.E., number 34, weight 79.0. Discoverer, J. Berzelium, 1817. Silicon, S.I., number 14, weight 28.1. Discoverer, J. Berzelium, 1824. Silver, A.G., number 47, weight 107.9. Sodium, N.A., number 11, weight 23.0, discoverer H. Devi, 1807. Strontium, S.R., number 38, weight 87.6, discoverer H. Devi, 1808. Sulfur, S., number 16, weight 32.1. Tantalium, T.A., number 73, weight 
डिस्कवर एक बर्ग एटीन जीरो टू टेक्नेटियम टी सी नंबर डिस्कवर आर ई सेगरे एंड सी पेरियर इन नाइनटीन थर्टी सेवन टेल्यूरियम टी ई नंबर फिफ्टी टू वेट वन ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स डिस्कवर एम वन रेशन टर्बियम टी बी नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव वेट वन फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट नाइन डिस्कवर सी मोजेंडर एटीन फोर्टी थ्री थेलियम टी आई नंबर एटी वन वेट टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर पॉइंट फोर डिस्कवर डब्ल्यू क्रुक्स इन एटीन सिक्सटी वन थोरियम टी एच नंबर नाइन्टी वेट टू थर्टी टू पॉइंट जीरो डिस्कवर जे बर्जेलियम इन एटीन ट्वेंटी थ्यूलियम टी एम नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन वेट वन सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट नाइन डिस्कवर पी क्लीव इन एटीन सेवेंटी नाइन टिन एस एन नंबर फिफ्टी वेट वन वन एट पॉइंट सेवन टिटेनियम टी आई नंबर ट्वेंटी टू वेट फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट नाइन डिस्कवर डब्ल्यू जॉर्ज इन सेवेंटीन नाइंटी वन टंगस्टेन इन टू ब्रैकेट Wolfram W, atomic number seventy-four, weight one eighty-three point nine. Discoverers G and F D Ethuyar in seventeen eighty-three. Uranium is U, atomic number ninety-two, atomic weight two hundred and thirty-eight point zero. Discoverer E M Peligot in eighteen forty-one. Vanadium is V. Atomic number twenty-three, weight is fifty-one point zero. Discoverer A. Delirio, eighteen zero one. Xenon, Xenon, X E, fifty-four, one thirty-one point three is the weight. Discoverers R. W. Ramsey and M. Travers in eighteen ninety-eight. Then, terbium, Y T T E R B I U M, will be. Y B, atomic number seven zero, weight is one hundred and seventy three point zero. Discoverer C Marignac in nineteen seventy eight. Then, cream Y T T R I U M will be Y, atomic number thirty nine, atomic weight eighty eight point nine. Discoverer J Gabolin in seventeen ninety four. Then zinc, Z N, atomic number thirty, atomic weight sixty five point four, and the last is zirconium, Z R, atomic number forty, atomic weight ninety one point two, discoverer M Klaproth in seventeen eighty nine. metals there are two types of elements metals and non metals about 80% of known elements are metals elements which are hard ductile brittle and malleable possess luster and conduct heat and electricity are termed metals all metals are solids except mercury and gallium which are liquids at room temperature metals usually have high melting and boiling points chemical nature of metals Usually metals have the tendency to lose electrons and while reacting with acids usually replace hydrogen in dilute non-oxidizing acids like hydrochloric acid HCl and sulfuric acid H2SO4 exceptions are copper silver and gold Chlorides of metals are true salts and oxides of metals are usually basic Hydri hydrides of metals are ionic unstable and reactive Although all the metals are reactive that is they are reacted upon by common 
reagents like oxygen, air, hydrogen, halogens, sulfur, water acids, etc. The extent of reaction is different in the case of each metal. Only gold, platinum and silver are not affected by air and water under ordinary conditions and are known as free metals. Various compounds of metals called minerals are found in nature and can be mined. The mineral from which metal can be extracted economically is called ore and the process of extraction of metals from their ores is called metallurgy which involves calcinations, the process of heating the concentrated ore in the absence of air, roasting, the process of heating the ore in excess air, smelting, the process by which roasted ore is mixed with coke and heated in a furnace to obtain free metal. Steel and Iron Steel is a form of iron. To make steel from iron, the carbon content is brought down from 5% to 0.5 to 1.5%. Heat treatment of steel. Quenching. If steel is heated to bright redness and then suddenly cooled in water or oil, it becomes extraordinarily hard and brittle. Tempering. By controlled heating, 250 to 230 250 to 325 degrees centigrade of quenched steel, its brittleness can be removed without affecting its hardness. Annealing. Steel is heated to a temperature will below red hot and then cooled turns it soft and the process is called annealing. Rusting of iron. Majority of metals occur in nature in the combined form and are extracted from the ores. When these metals are exposed to atmospheric conditions, they have a tendency to return to their original form. This change is called corrosion of metals and in the case of iron, it is known as rusting. Rusting consists of the formation of hydrated ferric oxide. For rusting, water and oxygen are essential. In the absence of water or electrolyte, rusting does not occur. The process involves addition of hydrogen and oxygen elements and it is found that mass of an iron rod increases by rusting. Rusting is prevented by coating the surface of iron with metals or non-metals or by alloying. The coating of another metal is known as electroplating or hot tipping. The electroplating chromium or nickel is used. When a coat of zinc is applied on an iron surface by the hot tipping process, it is known as galvanizing. Non-metals. Non-metals are electronegative elements which have a tendency to gain one or more electrons to form negative ions called anions. All non-metals generally exist as powders or gases except bromine which is liquid under normal conditions. Non-metals are non-lustrous and are bad conductors of heat and electricity. They cannot be hammered into sheets or drawn into wires like metals. The melting point of non-metals is lower than that of metals. Non-metals and their chemical symbols. Name, arsenic, symbol is AS. Astatine, symbol is AT. Bromine, symbol is BR. Carbon, symbol is C. Chlorine, symbol is CL. Fluorine, symbol F. Hydrogen symbol H, iodine symbol I, nitrogen symbol N, oxygen symbol O, phosphorus symbol P, selenium symbol SE, sulfur symbol S, and tellurium symbol TE. Alloys Alloys are homogeneous mixtures of two or more metals and non-metals and have more commercial utility than some of the constituent elements. The following table lists some of the commercially important alloys. Principal metal, aluminium, alloy, magnalium, commercial utility used in making balance beams and light instruments. Principal metal, aluminium, another alloy is duralium. Duralumin, commercial utility is used in the production of airships and pressure cookers. Copper. Alloy is aluminium bronze used in the manufacture of utensils, decorative articles like photo frames, coins and jewellery. Next alloy of copper brass used utensils, condenser sheets and cartridges. 
Next, alloy is bronze, commercial utility, utensils, coins, and statues. Next, alloy gun metal, commercial utility, guns, gears, and castings. Another alloy, coinage alloy, commercial utility in the making of coins. Principal metal, next one is lead. Alloy is type metal used for manufacturing printing types. Next alloy is solder used for soldering. Principal metal next is iron. Alloy stainless steel. Commercial utility in the manufacture of utensils, automobile parts, cycle parts, cutlery. Next alloy is invar used in the manufacture of meter scales, measuring tapes, pendulum rods. Next alloy duriron. Commercial utility laboratory plumbing. Next alloy is tungsten steel. Commercial utility used for making high speed cutting tools. Next is minerals. Minerals are naturally occurring chemical compound of fixed composition and characteristic physical forms and properties. A few minerals consist of only one element. Example graphite and diamond both forms of carbon, sulfur and gold. Most minerals, however, are a combination of two or more elements as in halide or rock salt, NaCl. The most common group of minerals are silicates, oxides, sulfides, halides, carbonates. Minerals are of two types, metallic or ore and non-metallic, for example, carbon, sulfur, etc. Common minerals. Name of mineral, composition and then commercial utility. First mineral, albite. Composition, sodium aluminum silicate. Commercial utility is glass ceramics. Next mineral, anhydrite. Composition, calcium sulfate. Commercial utility, cement, fertilizers, chemicals. Next mineral, anhydrite. Composition, calcium aluminum silicate. Commercial utility, glass ceramics. Next mineral, Appetite, composition, calcium, phosphate, flour phosphate or chlorophosphate, commercial utility, phosphate, fertilizers, gemstones. Next is aragonite, composition, calcium carbonate. Next is azurite, composition, copper carbonate, commercial utility, source of copper. Next is bauxite, composition, hydrated aluminum oxide, commercial utility, source of aluminum. Calcite, composition, calcium carbonate, commercial utility, cement, plaster, paint, glass, fertilizers. Calamine, common mineral composition is zinc carbonate, commercial utility is source of zinc. Next mineral, cassiterite, composition is tin oxide or tin stone, commercial utility is source of tin. Next is cerusite, composition is lead carbonate. Commercial utility source of lead. Chalcocite, composition copper sulfide, utility source of copper. Cinnabar, composition mercuric sulfide, utility source of mercury. Dolomite, composition calcium magnesium carbonate, source or the com uh, commercial utility is cement and building stone marble. Fluoride, composition calcium fluoride. Utility glass enamel. Galena, composition lead sulfide. Utility source of lead main ore. Gypsum, composition hydrated calcium sulfate. Utility plaster of Paris glass fertilizer. Halite, composition sodium chloride. Utility source of common salt. Hematite, composition ferric oxide. Utility important source of iron. Kaolinite, composition hydrated aluminum silicate, utility porcelain, tiles, filters, earthenware. Malachite, composition copper carbonate, utility source of copper. Mercoline, composition potassium aluminum silicate, utility glass ceramic, ceramics. Pyrite, composition iron sulfide, source of sulfur. Quartz, silica, Abrasive cement glass electronic equipment. Rutile composition titanium oxide and utility source of titanium. Talc 
composition magnesium silicate source or the utility talcum powder asbestos topaz composition hydrous aluminium fluorosilicate and utility is gemstones chemical compounds the atoms of an element the smallest component the atoms of an element the smallest component seldom exist singly they usually join up with atoms of other elements to form a molecule of a compound for example two atoms of oxygen combine to form a molecule of oxygen written as o2 or o being the symbol of oxygen and two the number of atoms combined in the formation of a compound two atoms of iron fe for example may combine with three atoms of oxygen to form a molecule of ferric oxide fe2o3 chemical reaction and chemical change chemical change happens everywhere all the time for example when coal burns when iron rusts when beer ferments when concrete and cement set on when concrete and cement set or when food is digested to give energy etc when coal burns carbon and hydrogen compounds within it combine with the oxygen of the air to form carbon dioxide or co2 and water vapors thus original constituent chemicals called reactants are converted into different substances called products which have different properties characteristics of chemical change as seen above in a chemical change the resultant product has different properties as against that of the reactants conservation of mass matter can neither be created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction in the above example the mass of coal and oxygen which combine during combustion is exactly equal to the mass of carbon dioxide water vapor and ash produced when substances are formed in different ways that is by different chemical reactions it always has the same composition in carbon dioxide co2 for example no matter how it is formed carbon c and oxygen o are always in the ratio of 3 is to 8 by mass in a chemical reaction energy is given out or absorbed for example when coal burns in air energy in the form of heat and light is given out on the other hand when carbon and sulfur are made to combine heat is absorbed in this process chemical equation chemical change can be represented by an equation for example the combustion of carbon c in oxygen o to form carbon dioxide co2 can be shown as c plus o2 is equal to co2 the subscripts show that there are two atoms in an oxygen molecule when hydrogen h and chlorine ci react to form hydrogen chloride the equation will be h2 plus plus cl2 is equal to 2 hcl note that 2 must be added before hcl on the right to balance the equation the equation shows that one molecule containing two hydrogen atoms plus one molecule containing two chlorine atoms react to form two molecules of hydrogen chloride acid base reaction one of the common chemical reaction is double decomposition a process in which two compounds react together to form two new compounds for example magnesium sulfate mgso4 reacts with the solution of caustic soda naoh to form sodium sulfate na2so4 and antacid magnesium hydroxide mgoh2 so mgso4 plus 2 naoh is equal to na2so4 plus mgoh2 oxidation and reduction another common chemical reactions is oxidation originally it meant combination of a substance with oxygen however now the term covers all analogous reactions in which substances combine with other elements and lose electrons in the process oxidation is always accompanied simultaneously with reduction in which electrons are gained for example action of hydrogen h2 with copper oxide cuo so cuo plus plus h2 cu plus h2o the oxide cuo is reduced to copper cu 
the copper gains electrons in the reduction. Chemical reactions may take place either slowly, for example rusting, or quickly as in an explosion. Rate of chemical reaction can be greatly increased by the presence of a catalyst, a substance which influences the reaction but does not change with it. A. Is a colorless and tasteless gaseous mixture of nitrogen 78% and oxygen 21% with lesser amounts, say traces of argon, carbon dioxide, neon, helium, ozone and other glass gases. Air also contains water vapor and pollutants enveloping the earth. Being a mixture not compound, its composition varies from one place to another. Its constituents can be separated and it can be prepared by mixing oxygen and nitrogen. Air is a bad conductor of heat. Of its constituents, oxygen helps in burning of substances and respiration and nitrogen dilutes the action of oxygen. Carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere through burning and also through respiration and water vapor is formed during evaporation from the sea, rivers, ponds, etc. Water vapor in the air. Air contains about 0.4% of water vapor. If we place a glass containing ice cubes in the open air, the outer surface of the glass gets covered with water droplets. This is due to the condensation of water vapor from the atmospheric air on the cooler surface of the glass. Carbon dioxide. Air contains about 0.03% carbon dioxide. If we place lime water in the open air, it turns milky due to absorption of carbon dioxide from the air. Water. Water was shown by Cavendish in the 18th century to be a chemical compound. It consists of hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 by volume 1 ratio 8 by mass. Hence, when an electric current is passed through acidified or alkaline water, for every one volume of oxygen, two volumes of hydrogen evolve. Water can be prepared by combining oxygen and hydrogen with the help of an electric current where for every one part of hydrogen, eight parts of oxygen are required. Boiling point of water is 100 degrees centigrade and freezing point is 0 degrees centigrade. Hard and soft water. Hard water. This does not produce lather with soap. Soft water. This produces lather with soap very easily. Hardness of water is of two types. Temporary hardness is due to the bicarbonate of calcium and magnesium. It can be removed by boiling or addition of lime. Permanent hardness is due to the sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium. It can be removed by addition of washing soda, distillation. Next is rainwater. It is the purest form of water since it is condensed water vapor of the air. It is soft water because it does not contain salts like bicarbonates, sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium. River water. By flowing over the earth's surface, it carries with it soluble minerals of earth and becomes hard water and also contains several pollutants. Important gases. Oxygen. It is a colorless, odorless and tasteless gas, sparingly soluble in water and slightly heavier than air. It does not burn itself but helps in burning of other substances. It is found in abundance in the earth both in the free state and combined state with other elements. Oxygen can be prepared in a laboratory by heating potassium chlorate and manganese dioxide together. It can also be obtained in small quantities by heating oxides or salts rich in oxygen. Oxygen can be separated from the air by passing an electric current through water. It is essential for plant and animal respiration and for nearly all kinds of combustion. Atomic number 8. Relative atomic mass 15.999 Melting point minus 218.4 degrees centigrade Boiling point minus 183.0 degrees centigrade Density at 0 degrees centigrade is equal to 1329 kilogram per cubic meter Valency 2 Hydrogen. It is a colorless, highly, inflam highly flammable gaseous element, the lightest of all substances known and in most abundant supply in the universe. 
in the free state it occurs in volcanic case gases hydrogen burns with a pale blue flame but does not help combustion and is slightly soluble in water it is used in the manufacture of vanaspati ghee alcohol and ammonia hydrogen can be obtained from water acids and alkalis In a laboratory it is prepared by action of dilute sulfuric acid on commercial zinc atomic number 1 relative atomic mass 1.008 melting point minus 259.14 degree centigrade boiling point 252.5 degree centigrade density 0.08988 kg per cubic meter valency 1 nitrogen a colorless tasteless and odorless gas constituting nearly 4/5 of the air by volume it is an almost inert diatomic gas neither combustible nor helping combustion slightly soluble in water in a laboratory it can be obtained from air air is liquefied first and then evaporated nitrogen evaporates first leaving oxygen Nitrogen is used to manufacture nitric acid, ammonia and fertilizers. Atomic number 7, relative atomic mass 14.007, melting point -209.86 degree centigrade, valencies 3 and 5. Carbon dioxide. It is a colorless, odorless, incombustible gas formed during respiration, combustion and organic decomposition and is heavier than air. Carbon dioxide is acidic and turns lime water milky. It is used in food refrigeration, carbonated beverages, fire extinguishers, etc. Carbon dioxide is prepared by the action of dilute acids or carbonates or by fermentation of sugar. In a laboratory it can be prepared by treating marble pieces with dilute hydrochloric acid. Useful gases. Name and then the use. Name. Acetylene, ethylene, ethyl uses to produce a hot flame by welding and cutting ammonia used fertilizer synthetic fibers and in refrigeration butane useful gases and its uses cigarette lighters domestic fuel cs gas use is tear gas used in riots cyanogen use is welding chemical weapons rocket propellant ether use anesthetic and industrial processes ethylene used as plastics helium used as fluorescent tubes laser balloons krypton used fluorescent tubes high speed photography laughing gas nitrous oxide used as mild anesthetic methane used to make chloroform neon used as illuminated signs propane used fuel and refrigerant Radon use radiotherapy atomic research xenon use flash lamps and lasers propane use is fuel and refrigerant natural acids name and then the source acetic acid source is vinegar amino acid source proteins ascorbic acid source vitamin c citric acid use vitamin c sorry citric acid use is lemon and citrus foods hydrochloric acid use digestive sources lactic acid source milk hydrochloric acid source is digestive juices malic acid source unripe apples fruits tannic acid source tea uric acid source urine industrial chemistry soaps soaps are the alkali salts of higher fatty acids washing soap is sodium salt of stearic acid and toilet soap is potassium salt of oleic acid these soaps contain a charged coona+ end and a hydrocarbon end cnh2n+1 the charged end has a tendency to interact with polar substances like water and fiber while the hydrocarbon parts interacts with non-polar materials like oil cleansing action of soaps it is based on a surface phenomenon oil coats the surface of objects for example fiber involving weak interactions between the polar fibers and the non polar oil while clothes are soaked with water containing soap 
when the polar end of the soap orients towards oil. The stronger interaction between the charged end of the soap and water overweighs the weak interaction between the fire, fiber and oil. Thus, the interfacial contact between the oil, dirt, etc. and the fiber or any other object is reduced and oil separates in the form of droplets. Glass Glass is a mixture of an alkali silicate with the silicate of a base that is silica, sodium silicate, Na2, SiO3 and calcium or lead silicate. The selected materials that is sand, silica, soda, ash, sodium carbonate and limestone, calcium carbonate are mixed in the required proportion and broken pieces of previously made glass known as scullet are added. These help in easier fusion of the mixture. The mixture is heated up to a temperature of 1400 degrees centigrade in a rotary furnace. When the mass is completely mixed and melted, the glass is made in various shapes by blowing and molding. Cement Materials required to manufacture cement are calcium, carbonate, limestone, chalk, etc., aluminum silicate, clay, and a small quantity of gypsum, CaSO4, 0.2H2O. The best cement is Portland cement, the average composition of which is CaO 63%, Ft, Fe2O3 3%. The best cement is Portland cement, the average composition of which is CaO 63%, Fe2O3 3%, MgO 1.5%, Alkali 0.5%, SiO2 21%, SO3 1.5%, Al2O3 7%. The raw materials are first crushed and mixed together and ground to a fine powder. The powder is then fed in a kiln temperature 1890K. At this temperature, calcium oxide from limestone combines the aluminum silicate to form calcium silicate and aluminate. The resultant mixture is mixed with 2-3% to gypsum and ground to form cement. Coal Coal originates from the remains of trees, bushes, ferns, Moses and other forms of plant life that flourished in swamps and marshes millions of years ago. Important products are derived from coal by a process called pyrolysis, heating of coal in the absence of air which produces coke residue and volatile matter such as coal, gas and a liquid known as coal tar. Organic Chemistry Chemistry of a Carbon Compounds Until 1828, scientists believe that organic compounds occur only in living organisms, things that were or had been alive. Therefore, study of those compounds became known as organic chemistry. This was based on the so-called vitalis, vitalist theory that is to produce organic compounds, vital energy is required. However, the vital force theory was disapproved when in 1828, the German chemist Frederick Waller prepared an organic compound urea in his laboratory by evaporating a solution of inorganic compound am ammonium cyanide that is NH4CNO that is ammonium cyanide inorganic compound heat is equal to CO NH2 2 urea organic compound Therefore, now, organic chemistry is the study of carbon compounds. Organic and inorganic compounds. Most organic compounds can be burned, while most inorganic compounds cannot. Most organic compounds are gaseous, volatile liquids and solids with relatively low melting points, and most inorganic compounds are solids with high melting points, while most organic compounds are insoluble in water, a great majority of inorganic compounds 
are soluble. Carbon. Found in abundance, carbon ranks 12th among the elements in the Earth's crust, but in importance, it ranks first. It is a unique element which readily combines with itself to form large molecules of carbon atoms linked in long chains rings. In all, there are more than a million such combinations. Different forms of carbon. Different forms of carbons are diamond, graphite, charcoal, lamp black, coke, ga gas carbon, coal, animal charcoal. Allotropic forms of carbon. When a substance exists in different crystalline modifications, the phenomenon is called allotropy, and different distinct forms of the substance are called allotropes. Carbon shows allotropy because it exists in different forms. These are two allotropic forms of carbon, diamond and graphite. Coke, charcoal, lamp plank, etc. were thought to be amorphous forms without definite shape of carbon, but it is now known that all the amorphous carbons contain microcrystals of graphite, though these allotropes of carbon have different crystal structures and different physical properties. Their chemical symbol is the same and shows similar chemical properties. Both diamond and graphite have symbol C. Both give off carbon dioxide when strongly heated in the presence of oxygen. C diamond plus O2 gas gives CO2 gas. C graphite plus O2 gas is CO2 gas. Diamond. It is the hardest substance found in natural form. Its name is derived from the Greek word adamas, which means invincible or adamant. It is the purest form of carbon. It does not allow heat or electricity to pass through. It is inert as it resists action of chemicals but gives out CO2 when strongly burnt in air. It is insoluble in all solvents. Since 1955, diamonds are also prepared synthetically from carbon compounds at high temperature and very high pressure. The transparent form of the diamond is used as gems while dark colored diamonds are used for making cutting tools. The Kohinoor is the world's most precious and famous diamond minced mined in India but was taken away by the British. The Kalanan found in 1905 in South Africa is the largest diamond in the world weighing 570 grams and 2850 carats. Graphite. The name graphite is derived from the Greek word graphene that means to write. This suggests that this substance has been used to make lead pencils since ancient times. Graphite is dark grey, an opaque solid with a soap touchy, with a soapy touch and a metallic shine. It is a good conductor of electricity and heat. It does not undergo any change when mixed with acids or alkalis. However, when heated with nitric acid, graphite acid is formed. Graphite is used as a lubricant in paints for making electrodes and lead pencils. Pure graphite is manufactured by heating coke in an electric furnace to a temperature of about 2500 degrees centigrade in the absence of air. Petroleum Petroleum is a mixture of hydrocarbons believed to have originated from bacterial decomposition of animal and vegetable fats under high pressure and atmospheric temperature. It is converted into a variety of products by fractional distillation based on the principle that lower hydrocarbons boil at a lower temperature than the higher ones. Products obtained from petroleum. Fraction and uses. Fraction. Gaseous hydrocarbons use as fuel and for gasoline and rubber manufacture. Fraction. Light distillates, petroleum, ether, petrol or gasoline, kerosene oil use as solvent in varnish, dry cleaning, motor fuel, fuel, illuminant. Intermediate distillates, gas, oil, diesel or heavy oil use is fuel. Heavy distillates, lubricating oils, gases and petroleum jelly, paraffin wax fraction use as a lubricant in toilet goods, ointments, candles, boot polish etc. Then is residue asphalt, petroleum coke, butamine and coke use fuel or for making electrodes. Now LPG. Domestic gas, also known as LPG, or bottled gas or liquefied petroleum gas, is a byproduct of petroleum refining and also obtained from natural gas. 
It is a mixture of hydrocarbons such as propane, butane and pentane. These gases can be liquefied under moderate pressure at a normal temperature. Because of low boiling point, 44 degrees centigrade, these gases are stored under pressure to keep in a liquid state in gas cylinders. Therefore, cooking gas cylinders contain the mixture of these gases in liquid form. Synthetic rubber, produced by polymerization of certain hydrocarbons. Neoprene, a polymer of chloroprene. Buna S, a polymer of styrene and butadiene. Buna N, a polymer of butadiene and acrylonitrile. Rubber is made hard by vulcanization, a process of heating rubber with sulfur. Synthetic fiber, nylon, was the first synthetic fiber made as a result of research begun in 1928. It is a polymide made by polymerizing adipic acid and hexamethylene dimine. Terylene, discovered in 1943, produced from terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol. Plastics, there are certain synthetic materials which are neither rubber nor fiber but are used as a substitute. These are called plastics. Plastics are also polymers. The raw material is basically a polymer of acetylene, the common gas used for welding. The polymer is obtained by treating acetylene gas under pressure in presence of a catalyst. The result is a long chain molecule. Radioactivity, a phenomenon of spontaneous disintegration first observed in certain naturally occurring heavy elements like radium, actinium, uranium, thorium, etc. with the emission of alpha, beta and gamma rays. It is a property of the nuclide disintegrate in which a transformation takes place of a relatively unstable nuclide to relatively stable nuclide accompanied with the emission of particles or electromagnetic radiation. The nuclide that decays is said to be radioactive. Discovery of radioactivity the phenomenon was accidentally discovered in 1896 by French physicist Henri de Becquerel. He observed that uranium mineral gave off invisible radiation. He termed his property of uranium radioactivity. Later Pierre and Madame Curie showed similar phenomenon in other metals like punium, francium and radium. Radioactive emissions, subatomic particle, radiation. Alpha A particles, a positively charged helium atom which has very little penetrating power. They can be observed by a sheet of paper or stopped by aluminum foil. Beta B particles, a negatively charged light particle, its penetrating power is greater than that of alpha rays. Penetrating particles radiation, also called gamma via emission. These are electromagnetic radiations of low wavelength, high frequency and high energy. Their penetrating power is very great as they can pass through several centimeters of lead. X-rays. X-rays are a form of penetrating electromagnetic radiation similar to light but of shorter wavelength and capable of penetrating solids. X-rays are produced when cathode rays fall on anti-cathodes, a metal of high atomic mass like tungsten. X-rays photographs. Z-rays passes through considerable thickness of matter without being entirely absorbed, although a fraction of the original radiation is always lost. Dense materials such as metal and bone absorb X-rays more strongly than materials such as wood or flesh. Therefore, it is possible to produce X-rays photographs for use in medical diagnosis. Nuclear reaction and atomic energy. Nuclear reaction. A nuclear reaction is one in which a nucleus is bombarded with an elementary particle like neutron, proton, etc. or with another nucleus to produce other products in a very short time span. The first nuclear reaction was discovered by Rutherford in 1919 when he bombarded nitrogen with alpha particles. Nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is the fragmentation of a large nucleus into two smaller nuclei and the liberation of a large amount of energy. In 1939, the German scientists Otto Hahn and F. Stiersmann observed that when uranium was bombarded with slow neutrons, then two smaller products were obtained 
with a tremendous amount of heat. This splitting of uranium was called nuclear fission. Types of nuclear fission Controlled nuclear fission Carried out in nuclear reactors in which rate of fission reaction is reduced and energy produced can be used for constructive purposes. Uncontrolled nuclear fission In an atom bomb, uncontrolled fission takes place. A very large amount of heat is produced and the process continues until the entire amount of fissionable material is exhausted. First atom bomb. On August 6, 1945, an atom bomb was dropped in Hiroshima city in Japan. The second bomb was dropped in Nagasaki, another city of Japan, on August 9, 1945. The bomb was made of plutonium-239. Nuclear fusion. It is a nuclear reaction in which lighter nuclei fuse to form a nucleus of greater mass. In this reaction also, an enormous amount of heat is produced by carrying on nuclear fusion under controlled conditions, the large amount of energy could be made available for useful purpose. Atomic energy, nuclear energy. Energy produced by nuclear fission or nuclear fusion is called nuclear energy or atomic energy. In nuclear reactions, there is loss of mass. This mass is converted into energy. It can be transformed into electrical and mechanical energy, which can be used to various peaceful purposes. General. Important chemical tests. Brown, brown ring test. It is used for chemical analysis of nitrates in which the solution to be tested is mixed with iron sulfate solution in a test tube and concentrated H2SO4 sulfuric acid is carefully poured along the side of the test tube. In nitrate containing substances, a brown ring is formed where the layer of acid touches the solution FENOSO4. Flame test. It is used to identify certain elements in which a clean platinum wire is dipped into the mixture to be tested and the wire is heated using a buisson flame. The presence of certain elements can be detected by the change in the color of flame. For example, a brilliant orange yellow will indicate sodium, crimson, strontium and apple green barium. Bilstein's test. It is used for detection of halogen in an organic compound in which a clean copper wire is heated in an oxidizing flame till the flame is no longer green. The wire is then dipped in a solution of the substance to be analyzed and heated again. If CIBR or I is present, the flame turns a bright green. Feelings test. It is used to detect sugars and aldehydes in a solution. Equal amounts of solution of copper sulfate, feeling A, and sodium tartrate, feeling B, are mixed in a test type. In boiling this with a given solution, a red precipitate form if sugar or aldehyde is present. Jedal method. It is used to measure nitrogen in an organic compound. The compound is boiled with concentrated sulfuric acid and copper sulfate catalyst to convert nitrogen to ammonium sulfate. An alkali, an alkali is added to the mixture and boiled to distill of ammonia which is passed into a standard acid solution and estimated by titrating the solution. Molecious test. It is used to detect carbohydrates in a solution. The solution to be tested is mixed with a small quantity of alcoholic alphanaphthol and concentrated sulfuric acid is slowly poured down the side of the test tube. When the two liquids meet, the formation of a deep violet rings indicates presence of carbohydrate. Rast's method. It is used to determine molecular weight by measuring the depression of freezing point of a camphor by a known weight of the solute. Schiff's test. It is used to distinguish between aldehydes and ketones. An aqueous solution of rosaniline and sulfurous acid, the Schiff's reagent, is used to test for the presence of aldehydes which oxidize the reduced form of the dye rosaniline back to its original magenta color. The aldehydes restore the color immediately, whereas Ketones restore the color slowly. Important laws of chemistry. Beer's law. 
This law states that in photochemistry, the proportion of light absorbed by a solution depends on the thickness of the absorbing layer and on the concentration of the absorbing substance in the solution. Boyle's Law It states that the volume V of a given mass of gas at a constant temperature is inversely proportional to its pressure P, that is PV is equal to constant. This means that if a gas is compressed threefold, its volume is reduced by two-thirds. Boyle, 1627 to 90, was the first to define an element as a substance that cannot be broken down into something simpler by a chemical process. Charles' law states that under constant pressure, the volume of a fixed mass of gas varies directly with its absolute temperature. The absolute temperature is that measured from absolute zero, about 273 degree, on the Celsius scale. Alternatively, at constant pressure, the volume of a given mass of gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. The principle was formulated by the French scientist Jacques Alexander Charles. Faraday's Law of Electrolysis This law states that firstly the amount of decomposition during electrolysis is proportional to the quantity of current passed and for the same quantity of electricity passed through different solutions the extent of decomposition is proportional to the chemical equivalent of the element or group liberated. The law was formulated by, the, by an English chemist Michael Faraday 1791 to 1867. Gay Lussac's Law Law of Gaseous Volume this law states that where gases combine chemically, the volumes of the reactive gases and gases products are in simple proportion at the same temperature and pressure. In other words, when gases combine, they do so in volumes, which are in a simple ratio to each other, and to that of the product if it is also gases. For example, one volume of nitrogen combines with three volumes of hydrogen to form two volumes of ammonia. Law of Thermal Expansion It states that at constant pressure, all gases expand by the same amount for the same increase in temperature. These laws were formulated by a French chemist, Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac, 1778-1850. Hess's Law This law states that the heat exchanges in a chemical reaction is the same no matter whether the reactions take place in one stage or more. The principle was formulated by German chemist Henry Hess, 1802-1850. Graham's law of diffusion states that the rate at which two gases diffuse is inversely proportional to their densities. It means that the lighter the gas, the faster it will diffuse through any medium. The law was defined by Scottish chemist Thomas Graham, 1805-1860. Henry's law states that the mass of a gas which is dissolved in a given volume of liquid at constant temperature is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas. It applies to gases that do not react with the liquid solvent. The principle was formulated in 1803 by the British chemist William Henry. Lambert's Law It states that layer of equal thickness of homogeneous material, for example colored filter, absorb equal proportion of light. Raoul's law states that the lowering of the vapor pressure of a solvent by a solute dissolved substance is proportional to the mole fraction of the solute, the proportion of solute molecules to the number of molecules solute and solvent present. Since the lowering of vapor pressure causes an elevation of the boiling point and a depression of the freezing point, it is used to determine the molecular mass of a solute. The law is named after the French chemist Francois Mary Raoul, 1840-1901 Law of Conservation of Mass and Matter Matter can neither be created nor destroyed. The sum total of mass or matter for a system always remains constant without any increase or decrease in quantity. Important Chemical Process Bezema Process It is a method of converting pig iron to steel by blowing air through the molten metals to oxidize impurities such as carbon, silicon, phosphorus and manganese normally present in pig iron. 
Clemson reduction. It is a process used to convert ad aldehydes and ketones to the corresponding hydrocarbons by heating with amalgamated zinc and hydrochloric acid. Gatterman reaction. It is a process used to convert an aromatic amine into the corresponding halogen derivative through diazonium, diazonium salt formation using copper as a catalyst. Haber process. It is an industrial process of producing ammonia by the reaction of nitrogen with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst. Colby reaction. It is used for the preparation of saturated or unsaturated hydrocarbons by the electrolysis of solutions of the alkali salts of aliphatic carboxylic acids. Solvay process. It is a process of making sodium carbonate from calcium carbonate and sodium chloride in large scale. The process involves heating of calcium carbonate to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide which is bubbled into a solution of sodium chloride in ammonia. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is precipitated which on heating gives sodium carbonate. Bayer process. This is a process used to extract aluminum oxide Al2O3 or aluminia by treating powdered bauxite with hot caustic soda solution under pressure. The process was developed by German chemist Carl Joseph Bayer in 1888. Burgess process. This is a process for making lubricants and synthetic fuel, for example, petrol, from coal by heating a mixture of powdered coal and heavy oil or tar with hydrogen under pressure in the presence of a catalyst, iron, tin or lead. The process was developed by German chemist Friedrich Burgess, who shared the 1931 Nobel Prize. Bosch process. It is a process used to make industrial hydrogen by passing steam over white hot coke to produce water gas, a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, which in the presence of a catalyst, a metal oxide reacts with more steam to liberate hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The process is named after the German chemist Karl Bosch, 1874-1940. to Down process. This is a process of making sodium metal by electrolysis of molten sodium chloride. The molten sodium and calcium formed at the cathode are separated. Frash process. It is used to extract sulfur from subterranean deposits in which superheated water is forced down the deposits which melts the sulfur under the ground. Molten sulfur is collected by forcing compressed air from another side. The process was developed by German chemist Hermann Frasch in 1891. Hal Harold process, a process used to prepare aluminium by electrolysis in which alumina or aluminium oxide is dissolved in cryolate, sodium aluminium fluoride and electrolyzed. It was developed in 1885 in USA by Charles Hall and in France by P.T. Harold. Parkes process. A process used for extraction of silver traces from lead or galena. Molten zinc is added to molten galena and lead is separated leaving zinc silver which on heating distills of zinc freeing the silver. Common substances and their chemical composition. Substance, chemical and then the composition. Substance, alum, chemical potash, composition, potassium, sulfur, aluminium, hydrogen and oxygen. Substance bleaching powder, chemical, calcium hypochlorite, composition, calcium, chlorine, chlorine and oxygen. Blue vitriol, chemical, copper sulfate, composition, copper, sulfur and oxygen. Calomel, chemical, mercurous chloride, composition, mercury chlorine. Caustic lotion, chemical, silver nitrate, composition, silver, nitrogen, oxygen. Substance candy fluid, Chemical potassium permanganate, composition potassium manganese, oxygen. Substance caustic potash, chemical potassium hydroxide, composition potassium hydrogen, oxygen. Substance chalk, chemical calcium carbonate, composition calcium carbon, oxygen. Substance caustic soda, chemical sodium hydroxide, composition sodium hydrogen, oxygen. 
सब्सटेंस बेकिंग सोडा केमिकल सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट कंपोजिशन सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस कॉमन सॉल्ट केमिकल सोडियम क्लोराइड कंपोजिशन सोडियम क्लोरीन एप्सम सॉल्ट केमिकल मैग्नीशियम सल्फेट कंपोजिशन मैग्नीशियम सल्फर ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस गलीना केमिकल लेड सल्फाइड कंपोजिशन लेड एंड सल्फर सब्सटेंस ग्रीन विट्रियोल केमिकल आयन सल्फेट कंपोजिशन आयन सल्फर ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस ग्लोबर सॉल्ट केमिकल सोडियम सल्फेट कंपोजिशन सोडियम सल्फर ऑक्सीजन जिप्सम केमिकल कैल्शियम सल्फेट कंपोजिशन कैल्शियम सल्फर ऑक्सीजन हाइपो केमिकल सोडियम थियोसल्फेट कंपोजिशन सोडियम सल्फर हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस लाफिंग गैस केमिकल नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड कंपोजिशन नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस लाइम वाटर केमिकल कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड कंपोजिशन कैल्शियम हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस लिथार्ज केमिकल लेड मोनोऑक्साइड कंपोजिशन लेड ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस नाइट्र केमिकल पोटेशियम नाइट्रेट कंपोजिशन पोटेशियम नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस केमिकल कैल्शियम सल्फेट कंपोजिशन कैल्शियम सल्फर हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस क्वाड्स केमिकल सोडियम सिलिकेट कंपोजिशन सोडियम सिलिका ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस क्विक लाइम केमिकल कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड कंपोजिशन कैल्शियम ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस रेड लेड केमिकल ट्रिप्लम्बिक टेरोक्साइड कंपोजिशन लेड ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस साल अमोनियाक केमिकल अमोनियम क्लोराइड कंपोजिशन अमोनिया क्लोरीन सब्सटेंस सोडा एश केमिकल सोडियम कार्बोनेट कंपोजिशन सोडियम कार्बन हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस सोडा बाइकार्ब केमिकल सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट कंपोजिशन सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस वॉशिंग सोडा केमिकल सोडियम कार्बोनेट कंपोजिशन सोडियम कार्बन हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन सब्सटेंस ब्लू विट्रियोल केमिकल जिंक सल्फेट कंपोजिशन जिंक सल्फर हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन टर्म्स इन केमिस्ट्री एसिड अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ सार टेस्टिंग केमिकल सब्सटेंस द एक्विज सोल्यूशन ऑफ विच इज केपेबल ऑफ टर्निंग ब्लू लिटमस रेड डिजॉल्विंग सर्टन मेटल्स टू फॉर्म सॉल्ट रिएक्टिंग विद बेसिस ऑफ एल्कलीज टू फॉर्म सॉल्ट एंड गिवन हाइड्रोजन प्लस ईन्स एन एसिड कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एच टू एंड एन एसिड रेडिकल For example in nitric acid HNO3 and hydrogen H2 the most popular acids are the inorganic or mineral acids for example sulfuric acid H2SO4 hydrochloric acid HCl nitric acid HNO3 phosphoric acid H3PO4 these are classed as strong acids aerosol a colloidal system in which particles are dispersed in a gas as in smoke or mist alcohol it is a colorless volatile and flammable liquid synthesized or obtained by fermentation of sugars and starches containing the hydroxyl minus oh group the simplest alcohol is methyl alcohol or methanol ch3oh typical of the group is ethyl alcohol in wine or ethanol c2h5oh the alcohol in wine and spirit aldehyde one of a family of organic chemicals containing the characteristic group cho like ketones they contain the carbonyl group best known in the gas formaldehyde hcho which when dissolved in water becomes a preservative formalin alkali it is a met metal hydroxide that is soluble in water and is a strong base for example the hydroxides of sodium and potassium caustic soda or caustic potash the aqueous solution of an alkali does not change color of blue litmus but instead turns red litmus blue alkalis have a soapy touch and a bitter taste alkali metal a group of elements that react with water to form alkalis found in group ia of the periodic table for example sodium potassium rubidium calcium etc alkene simple hydrocarbons that are commonly called paraffins the series of alkane begins with methane ch4 allotropy 
The existence of elements in more than one form in the same physical state, that is, the existence of two or more crystalline or molecular structural forms of an element, for example, carbon, diamond, and graphite. Alloy, C under metals. Amino acids. An organic compound containing both an amino group, NH2, and a carboxyl group, COOH, which are essential components of proteins. There are about 100 amino acids, of which the simplest is glycine, CH2NH2, COOH, found in gelatine and silk. Anhydride, a chemical compound formed from another by the removal of water, a compound that forms an acid or base when water is added to it. Aqua regia, a mixture of concentrated nitric and hydrochloric acids in the ratio of 1 is to 3. Aromatic compound, an organic compound derived from benzene, has a powerful and pleasant aroma. Atomic number, number of protons in the atomic nucleus of an element. Azeotropic mixture, a mixture of two or more liquids that cannot be separated by distillation. When most liquid mixtures boil, the vapor has a different composition from the liquid, which enables separation of the constituents to be achieved. Alcohol and water in the proportion of 96 is to 4 form an azeotrope, which boils at 78.15 degrees centigrade. Base A chemical substance which reacts with and neutralizes an acid to give a salt and water, solution of which turns red litmus blue, for example calcium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide. Boiling point the temperature at which a liquid is converted into vapor. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees centigrade. Carbonate, a compound made from carbonic acid H2CO3. In nature, they occur as chalk or limestone, etc. Carbohydrates, one of a large group of organic compounds found in most foods, for example, starch, cereals, sugar, etc. They consist of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Chemical bond, the force that holds atoms or ions together. Colloid, a mixture or suspension of very fine particles within a fluid as in fog or paint. Catalyst, it is a substance that affects the rate of chemical reaction without itself being consumed in the process. It accelerates the chemical reaction. Condensation, a process of reduction to a tensor form such as vapor to liquid. Corrosion, Destruction of a metallic body by chemical action or electrochemical attack, it can be prevented by giving the metal a protective coating of paint, bitumen or plastic. Crystal A solid pattern of substance composed of a group of atoms or molecules which is repeated in space to form a very regular structure, for example common salt, sugar, diamond, etc. Carbide a combination of carbon with a metal or sometimes with a non-metal. Catalyst, a process in which chemical reaction is speeded up by the presence of an extra substance called a catalyst which remains unchanged at the end of the reaction. Decantation, a process of separating a solid held in suspension in a liquid by allowing the former to settle down after which the liquid is poured out. Deliquescence, a property possessed by some substances of absorbing moisture from the air on exposure. Anhydrous calcium chloride, which possesses this property, is widely used as a drying agent. Desiccation, a process of drying or removal of moisture from a substance. Diffusion, the natural process by which one gas is decimated through another or a process by which one material moves through another from a state of high concentration to one of low concentration. Odors, for example, diffuse through air. Dopant properties. An impurity added to a pure substance, such as a semiconductor, to alter its properties. Distillation. The process of converting a liquid into vapor and then condensing this vapor into a liquid form again. For example, manufacture of distilled water. Double salt. A compound of two salts formed by the crystallization of a liquid solution containing both of them. Electrolysis. The process of chemical decomposition of an electrolyte, that is, a compound which, is, which in molten state or when dissolved in solution, disassociates into 
oppositely charged ions by means of an electric current electrons a negatively charged particle orbiting the atomic nucleus emulsion a colloidal dispersion of one liquid in another ester an organic compound obtained by reaction of an acid with alcohol and has a fruity smell in nature esters give flower their smell and fruits their flavor ether a class or organic compound made from alcohol it is volatile heavier than air inflammable and is only slightly soluble in water fatty acids the organic carboxylic acids occurring in fats and oils they occur not as acid itself but as a glycerol an ester derived from the alcohol most common fatty acids are palmitic stearic oleic and linoleic fermentation the chemical changes brought about by living organisms yeast bacteria etc in which bigger organic molecules are converted into smaller molecules for example conversion of glucose and cane sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide freezing mixture salt of metals nacl mgso4 which when mixed with crushed ice lower its temperature below 0 degree centigrade galvanization the process in which iron or steel articles are coated with zinc by dipping them in a bath of molten zinc or by electrodes to protect them from corrosion glycerine a colorless thick liquid prepared by the hydrolysis of fats and oils it is also called glycerol grignard reagent an organic compound of alkali halide and magnesium used to synthesize organic chemicals halide the halogen element compounds like fluorides chlorides bromides and iodides halogen group non metallic elements belonging to group vha of the periodic table comprising fluorine f chlorine c bromine br iodine i and astatine at hard water water that contains salts of calcium and magnesium and does not lather easily with soap heavy water it is a liquid like water but it contains deuterium an isotope of hydrogen in place of hydrogen d2o helium he is the lightest of the noble gases homologous series a group of chemical compounds whose structures differ by a simple unit most popular homologous series include the alkanes in which structures differ by meth- methylene ch2 units the series begins with methane ethane propane and the more complex butane hydrocarbon an organic compound of carbon and hydrogen for example methane ch4 hydrolysis a process of decomposing a compound by the reaction of water for example in digestion starches and sugars are broken down by hydrolysis into more digestible sugars such as glucose inert gas these are inactive gases of group o in the periodic table they are now called noble gases ideal gas perfect gas the gas conforming accurately to the gas laws boyle's charles and gay lussac's laws for example nitrogen and hydrogen which obey the laws fairly well ion an atom or group of atoms which has neither gained or lost electrons from its normal complement isomer refers to different organic compounds having the same number of atoms or the same element arranged in a different manner isomers have the same basic chemical formula isotope an item of an element having the same number of neutrons for example protium deuterium and tritium are isotopes of hydrogen litmus paper a dyed paper that turns red when treated by acids but remains or reverts to blue when treated by alkalis mass number total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom metalloid element having both metallic and non metallic properties for example boron silicon arsenic antimony etc molecular weight it is the ratio of the weight of one molecule of a compound with that of one atom of carbon 12 taken as 12 molecule the smallest particle of a compound that is capable of independent existence the properties of a compound are the properties of its molecule neutralization the process in which acid and alkali react together and the resultant solution is neutral to litmus neutron 
electrically neutral particles in the nucleus of an atom. Noble gas. These are inert gases, for example, helium, He, neon, Ne, argon, Ar, krypton, Kr, xenon, Xe, and radon, Rn. Nucleus. The positively charged central core of an atom containing protons and neutrons. Octane. A hydrocarbon of paraffin series occurring in fuel gases. Osmosis. The diffusion of substances from one solution to another through a semi-permeable membrane due to a difference in concentration of the two solutions. This is the principle of the process of dialysis, where solution of less concentration passes to the more concentrated solution. Oxidation. Adding of oxygen to compound or removal of hydrogen from it, a reaction in which atoms, molecules or the like gain electron. Oxide. A compound in which oxygen is combined with another element, ozone O3, an allotropic form of oxygen, it is found in the upper atmosphere 15 to 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface and is responsible for absorbing a large proportion of the sun's highly energetic and harmful radiation which would otherwise kill life. Pasteurization, the process of killing bacteria or retarding their growth in milk Milk is pasteurized by heating it to a temperature of about 67 degrees centigrade, maintaining it at that temperature for about half an hour and then chilling it. pH value. A measure of acidity or alkalinity of a solution expressed in numbers and measure of hydrogen. Polymerization. The formation of an insoluble chemical compound or residue in a solution as a result of a chemical reaction. The residue so formed is called precipitate. Proton, the positively charged heavy particle of the nucleus of an atom having equal and opposite charge to that of an electron. Radical, a group of atoms that stay together when a compound dissociates but yet not a stable group to qualify as a molecule. Rare gases, chemically inactive inert gases for example argon, krypton, xenon, radon, etc. Rare earth, any group of metallic elements with atomic number from 57 to 71, also called lanthanides. Reagent, a chemical commonly used in chemical laboratories for experiments and analysis such as dilute hydrochloric acid, ammonium hydroxide, dilute nitric acid, etc. Real gases, the gases which do not follow ideal gas laws. Salt, a product formed as a result of acid-base reaction it is formed when the hydrogen in an acid is replaced by a metal, for example, potassium nitrate and calcium sulfate. Sodium chloride, NaCl, is a salt in the chemical sense but is also called common salt. Saponification, the reaction in which esters are hydrolyzed with the help of alkalis into acids and alcohol. Slag, a non-metallic material obtained during smelting of ores. Solution, a mixture of two or more substances not chemically mixed. Solvent, a substance which can dissolve other substances in it forming a solution. Sublimation, conversion of a solid directly into vapor or the process of change from the solid to the gaseous state or from the gaseous to the solid state without becoming a liquid. Sulfonation, the process in which one of the hydrogen atoms of the same organic compound is replaced by a sulfonic group. Suspension, a mixture consisting of very small, undissolved or partially dissolved particles of a solid distributed in a liquid dispersion medium. Synthesis, formation of a compound directly from its elements or a simple compound. State of matter, the material substance of any kind exists in three states, viz. solid, liquid, gas, each of which can change into one or the other according to change in temperature and pressure. The so-called fourth state of matter is called plasma when negatively charged electrons and positively charged ions are in flux. Tresuranium Transuranium Those man-made elements that have a higher atomic number, number of protons in the nucleus, 
than uranium at number 92, for example, plutonium Pu94. Valency, the combining capacity of an element measured by the number of hydrogen atoms which combine with or are displaced by an atom of other elements. Chemistry quiz, reaction and the result. Reaction, what happens when steam is passed over red hot iron? Result, ferric oxide and hydrogen are produced, that is 3Fe plus 4H2O is equal to Fe3O4 plus 4H2. What happens when steam is passed over magnesium? Result, hydrogen is formed along with manganese oxide, which is Mg plus H2O is equal to MgO plus H2. What happens when steam is passed over white coke? Result, water gas is produced, which is C plus H2O is equal to CO plus H2. What happens when steam is passed over calcium cyanide? Result, ammonia is formed. That is, CaCN plus 3H2O is equal to CaCO2 plus 2NH3. What happens when water is treated with calcium phosphide? Result, calcium hydroxide and hydrogen are produced. That is, Ca3P2 plus 6H2 gives 3CaOH2 plus 2NH3. What happens when water is treated with calcium hydride? Result, calcium hydroxide and hydrogen are produced. That is, CH2 plus 2H2O is equal to CaOH plus 2H2. What happens when water is treated with calcium nitride? Result, calcium hydroxide and hydrogen are produced. That is, Ca3N2 plus 6H2O is equal to 3CaOH2 plus 2NH3. What happens when water is treated with calcium carbide? Result, calcium hydroxide and hydrogen are produced. That is, Ca, CaC2 plus 2H2O is equal to CaOH2 plus C2H2. What happens when potassium chlorate is heated? Result, potassium chloride and oxygen is produced. 2KClO3 heated is equal to 2KCl plus 3O2. What happens when lead nitrate is heated? Result, lead monoxide nitrogen and oxygen are produced. That is, 2PBNO32 heated is equal to 2PBO plus 4NO2 plus O2. What happens when hydrochloric acid reacts with zinc? Result, hydrogen is formed along with zinc chloride. Zn plus 2HCl is equal to ZnCl2 plus H2. What happens when sulfuric acid reacts with copper? Result, copper sulfate and sulfur dioxide are formed. That is Cu plus 2H2SO4 is equal to CuSO4 plus SO2 plus 2H2O. What happens when nitrogen is passed over heated magnesium? Result, magnesium nitride is formed. 3Mg plus N2 is equal to Mg3N2. What happens when pieces of zinc are boiled with caustic potash? Result, zinc will dissolve and hydrogen is formed along with potassium zincate. That is, Zn plus 2KOH is equal to K2ZnO2 plus H2. What happens when mixture of ammonium sulfate and sodium nitrate is heated? Result, ammonium nitrate is formed which on decomposition gives nitrous oxide. That is, NH4-2SO4 plus 2NaSO3 is equal to 2NH4NO3 plus Na2SO4 NH4NO3 is equal to 2H2O plus N2O. What happens when ammonia reacts with chlorine? If ammonia is in excess, ammonium chloride and nitrogen are formed. That is, 8NH3 plus 3Cl2 is equal to N2 plus 6NH4Cl. If ammonia is less than chlorine, explosive nitrogen trichloride is formed that is 2NH3 plus 6Cl2 is equal to 2NCl3 plus 6HCl. Sulfuric acid is added to barium chloride what happens? Result hydrochloric acid and barium sulfate are formed that is BaCi2 plus H2CO4 is equal to BaSO4 plus 2HCl. What happens in mixture of slake lime 
and ammonium chloride is heated. Result, ammonia gas is formed along with calcium chloride that is CaOH2 plus 2NH4Cl is equal to 2NH3 plus 2H2O plus CaCl2. What happens when calcium bicarbonate is heated? Result, calcium carbonate water and carbon dioxide are produced that is CaHCO3 2 is equal to CaCO3 plus 2H2O plus CO2. What happens when ammonia and air are passed over hot platinum? Result nitric acid and water are produced 4NH3 plus 5O2 is equal to 4NO plus 6H2O. What happens when potassium chlorate is heated? Result potassium chloride and oxygen are produced 2KClO3 is equal to KCl plus 3O2. What happens if a lighted paper is introduced in a jar of carbon dioxide? Result, the flame will be extinguished because carbon dioxide does not help in burning. What happens if lime water is kept in the air? It turns milky due to carbon dioxide in the air. What happens when blue litmus is put into a solution of acid? It turns red. What happens when red litmus is put into a solution of base alkali? And why? It turns blue. Why does a candle blow off when covered? Because it does not get oxygen which helps it burning. Why is phosphorus kept in water? Because with air it catches fire and in water it is insoluble. Sugar gets charged on heating. Why? When sugar is heated above 200 degrees centigrade, it decomposes into carbon and water and therefore gets charred. Why does the mass of an iron rod increase on rusting? Because rust is hydrated ferric oxide 2FeO3, 3H2O, which adds to its mass. Why is salt mixed with ice when making ice cream? Salt causes reduction of temperature and helps to freeze the ice cream and freezing temperature is lowered from 0 degree centigrade to minus 5 degree centigrade. Why does milk curdle? Lactose, milk sugar, content of milk undergoes fermentation and changes into lactic acid which on reaching with lactose forms curd. Why does milk turn sour? The microbes react with milk and grow. They turn lactose into lactic acid which is sour in taste. Why doesn't hard water lather soap profusely? Hard water contains sulfates and chlorides of magnesium and calcium which form an insoluble compound with soap. Therefore, soap does not lather with hard water. Why does sea water boil at a higher temperature than fresh water? Sea water contains impurities which raises the boiling point of water. Why is it dangerous to have charcoal fire burning in a closed room? When charcoal burns, it produces carbon monoxide which is suffocating. Why is it dangerous to sleep under trees at night? Plants respire at night and give out carbon dioxide which reduces the oxygen content of the air required for breathing. Why does Eno's salt ever effervesce on addition of water? It contains tartaric acid and sodium bicarbonate. On adding water, carbon dioxide is produced, which when released into water causes effervescence. General Biology, Botany and Zoology The Cell It is the smallest unit of life that is capable of independent existence. Historical Background In 1665, Robert Hooke, an English scientist, first saw a tiny compartment in a section of cork under his self-made microscope and named it cell. In 1824, R. J. H. Dutrochet concluded that both animals and plants are made up of cells. In 1831, Robert Brown first observed the nucleus of the cell. Van Mohl and Perkins coined the term protoplasm for the fluid content of the cell. Size of the cell The average cell size is around 3 to 30 microns, 1 micron, is equal to 001 millimeter. The smallest cell size is of bacteria which is around 0.2 to 0.5 microns. The largest cell is of an ostrich egg unfertilized which is about 18 centimeters about 7 inches in diameter. Structure. Every cell is surrounded by a membrane of a living covering through which the cell takes in what it needs from the outside atmosphere and discharges what is sulfurous, superfluous. With in the membrane is a protoplasm. Parts of the protoplasm. The nucleus controls and directs the activities of all the other parts of the cell. 
The remainder is known as cytoplasm, where many of the vital activities of the cell take place. A cell shows the following structures under a microscope. Cell wall, found only in plant cells. It consists of non-living substances, for example, lignin, pectin, cellulose, etc. Cell membrane, plasma lima. It is the outer membrane of the cytoplasm found both in animals and plants. It consists of living substances such as proteins. Endoplasmic reticulum or ER, a network of tubes of channels of membrane in the cytoplasm which helps in protein synthesis and conduction of material. Ribosomes, extremely small, dense, granular, spherical bodies found in a free state, free state in the cytoplasm composed of RNA and proteins. They help in synthesis of proteins from amino acids. Golgi bodies, bag-like structures formed of stacks of membrane. In plants, they are called dictosomes. Their functions include secretion of various substances, secretion of pectic material of cell wall in plants, and help in the formation of cell plate during cell division. Vacuoles, a fuel-filled sac within a cell. In plant cells, they are very big and surrounded by a membrane called tonoplast. Whereas in animals they are tiny, functions include osmoregulation, maintenance of cell turgidity. Mitochondria, rod-like or spherical semi-solid structures containing DNA in their mat matrix along with enzymes which are found in all cells. They synthesize ATP energy storing molecules. Plastids, small bodies found in the cells of higher plants. They are of two types. Leucoplasts, which are colorless and store starch, protein or lipids. Chromoplasts are colored and are of two types. Non-photosynthetic chromoplasts, which provide color to flowers, fruit and leaves. Photosynthetic chromoplasts, which in green plants manufacture food from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. Nucleus, may be round, oval, cylindrical or elongated. Each nucleus is bound by the nuclear membrane, which contains nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm consists of chromatin and nuclei. Chromatin consists of DNA, RNA and proteins. The nucleus controls all cell activities and is responsible for transfer of hereditary characteristics and assists in cell division. Centrosome, a rather dense area of protoplasm, lies close to the nucleus, usually found in animal cells. In the middle of the centrosome are two small dot-like bodies called centrifoils. They form a spindle in lower plants during cell division. Cilia and flagella. These are fine extensions of the cell surface and are similar in structure. Their functions are to help in locomotion or movement and in some animals they, are also, they also help in feeding. Cell inclusions. These are non-living substances present either in the cytoplasm of the cell or in the vacuoles. In animal cells, the inclusions are in the form of secretory granules, as in zymogen granules, hemoglobin and RBC, food material in the form of glycogen and liver cells, pigments as in cells of skin, eye and hair, whereas in plant cells, they are in the form of food particles such as starch granules, oil globules or excretory products like raisin, gum, etc. Cell division. Growth and development of all living things depend upon the growth of cells in size and division whereby increase in number takes place. There are two kinds of cell division. Mitosis, also called somatic cell division. Literally, it means division of nucleus, but it is generally described as cell division as a whole, both nucleus and cytoplasm. It results in formation of two daughter cells with equal number of chromosomes in each, which occur in somatic cells or organs. It is the most common form of cell division, which is essential for cell multiplication and growth. Since the number of chromosomes remains the same during mitosis, this division is also referred to as equational division. Meiosis occurs in reproductive cells. It causes a reduction in number of chromosomes in the cell besides formation of gametes, which contain half the number of chromosomes. Since the daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes as compared to the mother cell, the division is also called reductional division. It causes hereditary variation in a species due to exchange of genetic material. 
Before cell division, the cell prepares itself for division and is called interphase in which the cell becomes more active. Each cell division has two steps, division of the nucleus and division of the cytoplasm. During cell division, chromatin material of the cell gets organized into chromosomes. Plant and animal cells. The basic difference between plant and animal cells is that plant cells are enclosed by a rigid cellulosic cell wall made of cellulose surrounding their plasma membrane whereas animal cells have no such wall. Another difference is that the plant cells have a special organelle, the chloroplast, with the help of which they are able to photosynthesize. Also plant cells lack centrioles which are concerned with the organization of the mitotic spindle or the flagella and cilia. Plant cells have a large sub-filled macule. Classification of plant kingdom. There are over 350,000 species of plants and still more of animals known to mankind. It would be difficult to study them unless they are classified into smaller groups and named properly. Scientific nomenclature. In the 18th century, a Swedish biologist, Carl von Linne, Linne developed a scheme of scientific classification and devised a system of scientific nomenclature. According to Linne, all organisms having some important characteristics in common and different from all others in one or more ways are placed in a category term species, for example, cat, monkey, housefly, frog, etc. Different species have, having certain common characters are placed in a genus. A genus is therefore a collection of some related species, but they also have some characteristics in common. For example, cat, lion, tiger constitute three different species, but they also have some common characteristics and therefore are placed in the same genus. Similarly, genera are grouped into families and families into orders and orders into classes and classes into phyla. Therefore, the lowest group is species and the highest unit is phylum. And various phylum constitute a kingdom, either plant kingdom or animal kingdom. The naming of organisms is also done on a scientific basis. Each organism is given two names, a generic name and a scientific name. The generic name begins with a capital letter and the specific name begins with a small letter. For example, the zoological name of the common fly of the common house fly is Musca domestic and that of man is Homo sapien. The botanical name of wheat is Triticum estivium. The order of this nomenclature is illustrated below. Classification, kingdom, frog, animally, dog, animally, man, animally. Classification, subkingdom, frog, metazoa, dog, metazoa, man, metazoa. Classification, phylum, frog, cordata, dog, cordata, man, cordata. Classification, subphylum, frog, vertebrae, dog, vertebrae, man, vertebrae. Class. Classification is class, frog, amphibia, dog, mammal, man, mammalia. Classification, order, frog, anura, dog, carnivore, man, primate. Classification, family, frog, ran, ranidae, dog, canidae, man, hominidae. Classification, genus, frog, rana, dog, canis, man, homo. Classification, species, frog, Papians, dog, familians, man, sapiens. Classifications. Traditionally, all living organisms were classified under two main kingdoms, the plant kingdom and the animal kingdom. Certain unicellular organisms like bacteria, fungi, etc. were earlier classified under the plant kingdom. However, taxon taxonomists in the last few decades have been opposing this classification of unicellular organisms into the plant kingdom and there have been constant endeavors to revise the system of classification accordingly. In 1969, R. H. Vitakar classified all living organisms into five main kingdoms and this system is now receiving wide acceptance. According to the system, the five kingdoms are Monera, True Bacteria, Blue Green Algae, Protista, Golden Algae, Yellow Green Algae, Fungi, Slime Moles, Bread Moles, Sac Fungi, Plantae and Animalae. A brief description of the classification along with subclassifications is given below. Monera. 
These are organisms with proaryotic cells and diverse nutritional habits, including photosynthesis, chemosynthesis, and absorption. Reproduction is asexual by simple cell division, for example, through bacteria, fungus like bacteria, blue green algae. Protista. These are unicellular or colonial eukaryotes with diverse nutritional habits, reproduce both sexual and asexual involving meiosis and nuclear fusion. Mobility is by means of, of more advanced type of flagella, for example, euglenophytes, dinoglagellates, golden algae, yellow green algae, fungi. These are multinucleate organisms with non photosynthetic synthetic nutrition though absor through absorption lacking tissue differentiation for example slime molds water molds white rats bread molds sac fungi etc plantae these are multicellular organisms with cells being enclosed by rigid cell wall nutrition mostly by photosynthesis with the exception of a few species being absorptive primarily non motile often anchor to the substratum Plantae include all botanical organisms. Animalia. These include all protozoa and metazoa zoological organisms. These are multicellular eukaryotic organisms with cells lacking a rigid cell wall and photosynthetic apparatus. The plantae and animalia are further classified as given below. Classification of the plant kingdom plantae. The plant kingdom is classified into a number of divisions. Rhodophyta red algae. These are mostly multicellular marine plants, some 2,500 species, ranging from simple filaments to large plants, even to 10 feet long. Reproduction is mainly sexual through complex reproductive systems. They are found attached to rocks or other algae. Their reddish color is due to a pigment called physerithene. Firefighter brown algae. These are multicellular marine plants growing on rocks or attached to seashores, ranging from a few millimeter to massive plants up to 200 feet. Reproduction in these plants is both sexual and asexual. Their brownish color is due to xanthophilus pigment called fucoxanthin. Chlorophyta green algae. These are a group of bright green, some 3,700 species mostly aquatic plant, unicellular, colonial and multicellular. Reproduction in these plants is both sexual and asexual. They are found in abundance in fresh water as well as sea water on tree trunks, moist rocks, leaf surfaces and soil. Bryophyta simply simple non-vascular small plants that grow in moist place. The plant body is thallus-like and remains attached to the soil by rhizoids. They lack roots, flowers and seeds. Reproduction is mainly through vegetative means or sexual, for example, liverworts, hornworts, moses, etc. Lycopodophyta, club moses, these multicellular terrestrial plants with vascular tissues. Their body is differentiated into roots, stem and leaves. Stem not jointed. Spores are produced in the axis of fertile leaves, mostly aggregated into club-like terminal cones. Arthophyta or horsetails. These are multicellular plants with vascular tissues. The plant body is divided into root, stem and small whorled leaves. They have upright stems which grow from underground branches. Arthophyta are largely an extinct group represented by a single living genus, the Equisetum, the horsetails. The Ptera phyta ferns. These are multicellular plants with vascular tissues. The body is differentiated into root, stem, leaves, contains spores for reproduction, which are produced usually in the lower surface of the leaves or in their margins. Seeds are not produced. Psychodophyta. These are multicellular terrestrial plants with vascular tissues without vessels. The plant body is divided into root, stem and leaves. The stem is large and woody. Leaves are large and fern-like, for example, saika, sago, palm, zamia, zago tree, etc. Corniferophyta cornifers. These are multicellular plants with well-developed tissues. The main plant body is large and woody. Leaves are simple, smaller than saika 
and needle-like. Example, Cedrus, Deodar, Taxus, U. Anthrophyta, Angiosperms. More advanced flowering plants with well-developed vascular tissues, predominantly saprophytic with a well-differentiated body of roots, stem and leaves. They occur in almost all places and make up more than half of all known species of plants, about 200,000 species. They range in size from, minute, from minute floating duckweeds to giant eucalyptus and silk cotton trees and include plants of a great variety of forms, cacti, water, lilies, sunflowers, orchids, pitcher plants, Indian pipe, etc. The reproductory organ of these plants are flowers and the seeds are enclosed within an ovary which develops into a fruit wall. The distinct parts of the body of these plants are root. It is the descending and positively geotropic part of the plant which develops from the radical or the primary root. It anchors the plant to the soil and absorbs water and minerals and salts from the soil. Stem. It is the ascending and negatively geotropic part of the plant. It bears nodes and intermodes and supports leaves, flowers and fruits. Leaves. These are generally green and carry out the function of synthesis of food, photosynthesis. Flower. It is a reproductive organ of angiosperms. It generally consists of four holes, sepals, petals, stamens and pistils. After pollination and fertilization, the ovary of the pistil develops into fruit and the ovules into seeds. Some flowers are found in groups or clusters which are called perinicle. The arrangement of flowers on the perinicle is called inflorescence. The ripened ovary becomes a fruit which generally contains seeds. On the basis of morphology, angiosperms are further classified into herbs, shrubs and trees. On the basis of age, they are grouped as perennials which live for many years, annuals which produce flowers and fruit in the course of a single season, biennials which live for two seasons. There are two major classes of angiosperms. Dicotyledons. These plants have two cotyledons in their seeds and may be annuals, biennials or perennials, for example, gram. Monocotyledons. These are mostly annuals and have only one cotyledon in their seeds. Other classifications. Terrestrial plants, which grow on soil. Hydrophytes, plants which grow in water. Epiphytes, plants which perch on other plants but do not take nourishment from them. They are not rooted in soil but grow upon branches and stems of other plants, for example, oon plant. Xerophytes are adapted to grow in a dry habitat like deserts and can survive without moisture, for example, cacti. Mesophytes thrive under conditions intermediate between very wet and very dry. The great variety of crops, for example, beans, tomatoes, peas, etc., belong to this category. Parasitic, which depend on other plants for their nourishment, they lack chlorophyll and thus cannot make their own food, for example, bacteria and fungi. Carnivorous plants which trap insects and other small creatures on their sticky leaves and digest them to obtain nitrogen and other material essential for their growth. They are also called insectivorous plants, for example, pitcher plant and bladderwort. Modification of plant parts. Sometimes certain parts of a plant are modified to carry out specific functions. Root modifications. Storage roots. Store food material, for example, carrot, reddish turnip, sweet, potato. Aerial roots. These are aerial nodes that develop from the stem and go into the soil. Examples, stilt roots of sugarcane and maize. Prop roots of banyan trees, which provide reinforcement to the stout branches. Parasitic roots. These arise from stem and penetrate into the host plant. They are called Hosteria example, Cuscuta. Respiratory roots. These are pores and are founding plants that thrive in swamps, for example, Rhizophora. Assimilatory roots. These contain chlorophyll and perform the function of carbon assimilation, for example, Trapa roots. Aphyphytic roots. These are aerial roots which absorb moisture from air, for example, Vanda roots. Stem modification. In some plants, the stem is modified to perform different functions. Rhizomes, underground modification of the stem, they bear nodes and store food material, for example, ginger, grass and canna. Tuber, is swollen tips of underground branches that store food, for example, potato. 
Corm, underground stem which bears leaves, for example, saffron gladiolus. Bulb is a modified underground stem in the form of a disc-like structure that bears fleshy leaves that store food material, for example, onion lilies. Cladophyll is a modification of the stem into the large, flat, green, fleshy structure that bears leaves into spines. Such stems carry out the function of leaves, for example, cactus. Tendri, it is an aerial modification of the stem where the stem becomes a long, slender, coiling structure serving as an organ of attachment for certain limb climbing plants. It helps the plant to climb up the support such as grapes and cucurbits. Classification of the animal kingdom, animally. The entire animal kingdom is broadly classified into two main groups. Protozoa, single call microscopic organisms in which all functions are performed within a single cell itself, for example, amoeba. Metazoa, multicellular organisms in which cells are grouped together to form tissues, organs and systems. All animals, including man, are placed under the metazoa sub-kingdom. Metazoa are further classified into two main groups. Invertebrates. They do not possess a vertebral column and are classified into various phyla. Porifera are mixed multicellular organisms, aquatic, and have a porous and cylindrical body, for example, ascon, cycon, sponges. Colenterata are sac-like multicellular aquatic creatures with tentacles, stinging cells, possessed tissues, and a digestive cap cavity, for example, hydra, obelia, aurelia, jellyfish. Platyhelminths are both parasitic and free-living organisms that have a flat body, thin, soft, and appear leaf or ribbon-like, for example, liver fluke, pork, tapeworm, flood fluke, etc. Nematelminths are both parasitic and free-living organisms with a round body and possess a mouth and anus, for example, roundworms, phylarial hookworms, etc.